Okay, this, this video is going to demonstrate beautifully how um, a really simple, straightforward mistake, error, or, you know, error, um, rather than just be conceded and move on and have a conversation, um, gets laboured to death. And even when a, a, a comrade is brought in, in this case, it's rumpus, um, rather than just make the concession and admit the mistake and move on, he'll actually argue a completely different point as a red herring and then protect his friend rather than make the concession that was necessary for what was a simple, straightforward error in the application of a basic trigonometrical um, problem. So it's application of Sokotoa. Now, what actually happens is um, there's a previous back and forth with me and Kosho. Kosho comes in, he tries to correct an earlier mistake or error, but he doesn't show enough information in this hangout to do that. So he's asked to clarify and draw in the rest of the triangle so that it's clear what his claim is and what points that we should be taking from it, from him. But he makes a further error. So Rumpus is brought in to clarify the suspected error and Rumpus then, he starts to explain the issue. And rather than correct Kosho's error, Rumpus finds a small point of wiggle room that represents like 5% of the argument. It's not the main point in any way, shape or form, but he exaggerates that point to protect Kosho rather than the main point, which was 95% of the argument, which was the express triangle that was drawn. That needed to be corrected. Rumpus went to an implied angle of a triangle that was not drawn rather than address the angle of the express triangle that was drawn just like he did when he departed from the express term of straight line from Euclid's definition of perpendicular and tried to argue for an implied curve line instead. He's done the exact same thing. How can there be any honest conversation when a self-proclaimed heliocentrist degree-holding physics academic will focus on a red herring to create a distraction that protects his friend rather than address directly the error that his friend has made and just be truthful? How can we have conversation when it's like that? Okay, sure? so long time no speak to. Tony, you've got echo again. Three of them, one after the other, after the other. Is it, is it the conveyor belt? Echo. <laughs> <coughs> it's not that bad. Oh, yeah, it was. It was literally that bad. The first guy came in and I had a rocket and me with him. My echo. <laughs> it does sound like you're going really close to the microphone, though, yeah. Tony. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it does sound like you're really close you to the microphone, Tony. You got a hard one now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eat now it, the bitch. Eat win, it. Eat it. Eat your mic. There's, there's, got to be, there's got to be differences on the different machines between these two microphone settings, I'm telling you. <laughs> this is normally how, how I normally do it. Is that better? No, I'm going to turn you down. Showing up later. I'm, I'm turning you down, Tony. No, I will not go out with you. <laughs> so, cosine. 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 Have you been sent in by somebody? Who's that? Of course not. I'm not, I'm not even here to um, to debate, so. Yeah. How are you doing? Anyway? I just find it incredibly coincidental that we had one guy that came in, fell out with me, left. Another guy came in straight after him, had a five-hour conversation with him. He's left, and within five minutes, you've popped up. It seems like a conveyor belt. Was it That's just right. the fact that he went over there and started talking about us that thought that you might come over here? A bit more it of could be the case. Could be the case. Yeah. Maybe Highlander's been saying some nice things about us. Hmm. That could be it, couldn't it? Hey, Cosine, do you agree now that gravity's not a force, or do you still think gravity's a force? Why do you use Cosine? I've never heard that before. Is that a old Oh, because he come up with some bullshit maths. He was in one day, and he came up with some bullshit maths that was clearly wrong. And rather than his mates call him out and say, do you know what, Kosho, that might not be right, they all basically tried to find ways to weasel the maths in, and it was clearly wrong, and he brought up the Cosine of Summit. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was complete bullshit. And his mates wouldn't call him on it because he's, they they're his mates. They never do, do they? No. And I was <laughs> like, yeah, you're clearly your wrong. Points. Why can't your mates correct this for you and let's move on? And they wouldn't do it. So from now on, Kosho is now known as Cosine because he brought up the cosine well, of summer. I can't, I can't remember what I it was. I know now. Kosho is Kosho. So mm -hmm. hi, Kosho. How you doing? Howdy. Hi, well, Kosine. I'm all right. And, um, you know, instead of talking about gravity, um, <laughs> Riley, how about, how about I can clear that cosine thing up for you? A, uh, I made a picture. So I gotta find it once I pull that picture up. Perhaps then I'd you much can. I'd rather talk about gravity than cosines. No, I'll have a look at this picture though. If he's made a picture. Well, yeah, we don't have to talk about it. Maybe I'll just, I'll just post it and um, 
because I, I know you don't remember the conversation, but we were talking about the moon and why um, new moons seemed like they lasted longer than um, quarter moons. Like the quarter moon phase goes by quickly, but the new moon phase takes like three days or so. That was yeah, the conversation just, we had. <clears throat> but, um, just as well as when you don't see the moon, it stays away for like three, four days. Right. Same thing. I have no recollection of that. Hours, isn't it? Are you sure that's the right recollection Doesn't of the conversation? It last about the Absolutely. same time as a full moon. Yeah, about about seventy two hours, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and that that was a question, and the answer I gave had to do with cosines, and so I'm going to post a picture in a minute when I when I pull it up, <clears throat> and um, hopefully then because I didn't have a picture at the time, I remember Jem was there, it was me, Jem, and some a smart kid. And you were on your show, I think. Well, I wouldn't say there was a smart kid there. The, the kid you're referring to was Hillel Finder. And he knows that your math was incorrect, but refused to call you on it. And he was like, yeah, I think that we might be able to, to basically describe it in that way. But that's not really the way that I use it. And he brought up the correct maths, but wouldn't correct you on your maths being incorrect. Totally intellectually dishonest on Hillel Finder's part. And you weren't man enough to say, Do you know what, maybe I didn't get that right. I'm going to show it to you, and, and one of us will admit that it's correct, and one of us will say it's wrong, probably. Well, I'm sure. To be honest, Coach, but I don't actually remember what the conversation was, and that doesn't ring any bells. I recall a bunch of details about it. That doesn't mean I remember, though. I mean, That's how long ago was it? About six months? No, it's probably a year and a half. Really? <clears throat> so, if it's if it is the law of cosines and you're talking about the moon, um, you realise that's a, it's like a trig function for, for triangles, right? Yeah, it's not. It's not the law of um, cosines <laughs> I'm describing. It's the fact that the cosine, like when you go around a circle, um, it's when you're though, right, Co cosines the relationship of the Pythagorean theorem and the. The triangles, right? Nothing to do with the circle. It has everything to do with the circle. Like a, you know, like the unit circle for trigonometry? Well, it, like the, uh, triangles tri and right angled triangles are based within the semicircle, right? That That's how you work out a right angled triangle. But I'm just, <clears throat> what I was more interested in was because it's a triangle and you've got to get three points and a right angle. Um, how does that relate to the the light in the sky. I'll show, I'll show you. Just give me, give me forty-five seconds. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll put the cat on. Right there looks like Seattle has fallen to Antifa. They've actually taken over a section. Seattle. I uh, Minneapolis was going to. Uh, disband is, their police. Yeah, well, they basically the police. Or? The police has, has left. They've abandoned the precinct, and it's now a free zone. It's all over Twitter if you look up Seattle, and it will show you a map. Anti good or bad people? Bad. 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 It's been hijacked. It's they are the left communism socialism, but it's, just... even that's been taken over, and it's now used as a pawn to start chaos. So is that where the rich. Nazis reside? Uh, the, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I'm not, I'm not keen on them people. S Civil War the extreme is the left now, isn't it? Interesting that the left has suddenly become the far right in this instance. It's a weapon. It's a means to an end, isn't it? It's not. It's all swapped. We, we, all the meanings of everything. It's all yeah. Yeah. been completely which, blurred. Which city did you say? Which city's dropped? Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, if you just search Seattle on Twitter, Antifa have taken over quite a big portion just, of their Capitol Hill. I've just read that Bojo's banned um, Black Lives Matter's protests in this country. <laughs> oh, good luck with so, that. What? That's, that's, so that's right near Mark Sargent, that, isn't it? Riots. Mark Sargent, Seattle, is it? I don't know, is it? Yeah, yeah it's so. near, near Canada, isn't it? It's on the Great Lakes. Isn't, isn't it? it? Mark Sargent lives in Washington State. Kosho, is that right? 
No, it's, it's on the west coast. So it's a, it's a, it's near Canada. That's correct, but it's um it's a, a little bit away from the Great Lakes. And yeah, I think um Mark Mark Sargent does live there. And whereabouts are you? Are you safe? Ah, uh, sure. I mean, um, you'll be with him, right? Coach I wouldn't worry about it anyways. But there, there there was a bank robbery. <laughs> a guy walked into the bank without a gun or a car or anything and robbed the bank um down the street from me. <laughs> There's no money in banks these days, though. How the hell did he get away with that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. What did he get away with? Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't find out how much he, he'd taken. He, maybe he put hundred just uh, asked the guy to do or I can just no. walk in a bank now and just say, give me some money. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't even yeah, get it, cigarettes or alcohol from a local shop, let alone money. <laughs> you can see on the Asda. Before oh, you can no, go yeah. in, you've got to wipe your hands and grab a trolley, otherwise you're not allowed in. Oh dear. I dare not go in with a mask, without a mask. Hang on, how would you, how, how would you not know that they were socially distancing themselves if they wore a mask? This is my social distancing, man. I'm protecting myself. It looks like a bank oh, robbery to me. Oh my goodness. You see what I just see on bloody... YouTube. What now? Have a no, look. because we're not looking at the same screen. Well, yeah, obviously. Um, I'm just about to post a picture in the live stream text. Ow! <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> that I is not either. As well. That is what? not a good situation to be in no but that's just no because that doesn't sum up my 2020 because i don't know what that feels like funny enough So what's Kosho been up to, apart from planning, rioting, robbing planning, a bank by the sounds of I've been <laughs> planning on rioting by launching a balloon. Has uh, Yeah. Oh, you know about the balloon, huh? Are you I launching think? it? Yeah. I've, uh, yeah. When's that going ahead? Well, a weather balloon, yeah? Not party balloon. <laughs> well, I've been doing a bunch of party balloons beforehand because, um, for testing. But I think in August... Uh, me and another will probably be launching a, a weather balloon. Uh huh. That would be um, soda, yeah. That's right, soda. Yeah. And um, what kind of visual equipment's going to go on it? Um, it probably won't be that sophisticated. She wants to see the curvature of the Earth, so um, she has to decide what she wants to um what what she wants to get out of it. Just like but a GoPro. I have then. a different. Say again. Slap a GoPro on there. Job done. Yeah, um, I'm not using a GoPro, um, and also I'll be I'll be taking pictures because I'm not I'm not looking for the curve of the Earth. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the I'm using the drop of the horizon for something else. But um, I think somebody else wanted to tag on the GPS and some sort of mobile uh, some kind of mobile network piece so they can they want to get. Uh, description of the surface using using uh, network data. So there's a, there's a few tests attached to it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Did I Sounds hear you cool. say horizon drop? Yeah, I was just puzzling that one in my head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, there's differing um, opinions from from y'all side about whether the horizon drops or not. Like, which, um, <clears throat> you know. Um, a horizontal line is parallel to the horizon. So when you say drop, you just mean a different horizontal, right? I mean that, yeah, the, the, the two lines are going to be um, on the same position. One will be lower. So your eye level, when I say two lines, I mean your eye level. The two horizontal lines? Um, the, the two lines. I, right. I won't... Um, 
So I know this. I know what happens you, next. You know, you know like, the horizontals all that. Yeah, like can you um, you imagine right? The the horizon is a horizontal. Can you um, imagine putting um, a vertical on it? Can you? You know, like a perpendicular to that horizontal. <clears throat> Sure, yeah, I guess you can imagine that, sure. Could you move over to the left and put another hor uh, vertical perpendicular on that horizontal? I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, how many <clears throat> how many uh, perpendicular verticals do you think you could put on that horizontal? An infinite amount, I suppose. Infinite. That's interesting. <clears throat> how much do you know about the model? Um... I guess I know a thing or two. Do you know how many uh, perpendicular verticals you can have per horizontal? Is it an infinite? No, on on your model you can only have one perpendicular vertical per horizontal. Did you not know that? I mean, we've been doing this for quite a while. Well, what are you talking about when you say perpendicular vertical? You mean just a line? A straight up and down line, right? 90 degrees, right? That's a perpendicular straight line. But you're talking about your visual horizon, like when you're looking out, just making a line there. Yeah, horizontal, we said, didn't we? Are you talking about along the surface or going from the surface Doesn't matter. to the sky? A any horizontal. <clears throat> That's what I mean. You can have an infinite amount of those. Like if you have a circle around you, you can put an infinite amount of points around that um, around that circle. Well, that's a curved surface. None of them would be perpendicular, would they? Because you need two straight lines. You need a horizontal and then to build a perpendicular vertical on it. Like right, so if I had a hoop... Could, you could put infinite amounts on it. If I had a hula hoop and I put it around me on the ground we, we, and I we pretended that was my horizon... Horizontal and vertical. Where, where's this hula hoop come from? You well, the hula hoop would be the circle around out. you, and it would be horizontal. Sorry? The hula hoop, you put it on the ground around you, then you have a horizontal circle that's all around you, and you can put an infinite amount of points along that hula hoop. Wait, that's what I was thinking of when you asked that question. Said. Was Wait, Where's the circle? The hula hoop. Would you carry a hula hoop with you? I don't no, this is for the purpose of... Um, describing what I'm talking about. I don't know. What, like, what are you talking about? We were talking about the horizontal on the horizon. Right. Yeah. The horizon is a circle that goes around you. No, it's a horizontal. The horizontal isn't a circle, is it? <clears throat> you can have a horizontal circle. <laughs> that's my. That's what I'm saying is, you can have a horizontal circle, like a hula hoop, or the horizon, a, like, yeah, which yeah, is a circle that goes around a you. A 2D shape of a circle, you can put that in a horizontal position. Right? That's right. Yeah. Right, so the, you could put a, a two-dimensional circle and you could make it, put it in the horizontal position. Like um, like a merry-go-round or something like that. Like a, you know, That's right. Yeah. Well, that, that would be a circle. Yeah? Is that You're not suggesting that the outer bounds of a circle are uh, horizontal, are you? If it's laying flat around you, then yeah. If you have, like I said, that's why I used the hula hoop laying down flat around you, because if if that's where the circle is, and the hor the circle that you're describing is horizontal to your um, you know, to, to what you're viewing. So th th that's why you question it. I'm not sure what you were asking are you, with the verticals. Are you getting confused between the horizontal and turning around in a circle? No. No. Well, we we're just looking out one way. And seeing a horizontal, right? Okay. If I place you anywhere that was in, like a nice flat place on Earth or something, somewhere that doesn't have mountains and stuff, and then I said, "Here, here's a map. I want you to draw your horizon on this map. There would be you standing in the middle, and there would be a circle that would be drawn around you. That's what your horizon would be. So that's why I'm, how, um, how that's why I'm using that how circle. About, well, like Euclid says... Uh, any circle can be described by uh, the point position and the distance from that point. So what's the distance for that, um, what you're saying, your horizon? You're saying circle. 
Um, give us a radius distance, please, because just call it um, two two um, two point five miles or three miles. Three. Okay. So like a uh, five kilometers. A three mile circle around you is that like a geometric, like a geometric. horizon? Have you just did you just construct a geometric horizon by building mm. a circle on a horizontal plane and then putting an edge on it? I was just giving you an arbitrary answer because um, oh, I, we're talking I, about hypothetically. I think, I think you just uh, constructed a geometric horizon there. Sure, maybe. Um, but you, you had just asked me to give you a distance for a hypothetical thing, so I just gave you a made-up number. I, I just but asked you about a straight line, a horizontal, putting a vertical on it. You, you offered up a circle and then gave me a dimension to it as well. You went way. Yeah, that was before. So hey, well, let's go back to that. What were you talking about when you said that? When you said to make the circle and to make the vertical lines? No, it was I said a horizontal, right? That's not a circle. That's a straight line, right? You, you, well, like you, I said, you, you, you a horizontal a circle. circle no, a horizontal no, circle just, is a circle. No, no, no. Just, just a horizontal, right? It's a straight line. And a horizontal plane is a plane that's in the horizontal position, right? Horizontal means um, a specific position, right? No. No? It's an orientation. Uh, yeah, in a very specific position, right? No. Horizontal, It's not. it doesn't mean a specific position. Right. Okay. No. It means a the, specific... You have uh, a model, right? Yeah, I'm going to answer the last question, though. You have a model, and it the, has the, a tilt, right? 23.4 sure. degrees tilt. We're kind of jumping around, but sure. What What is that 24? What does that mean? 24 degrees what? From where? What, in what reference to the, uh, the equatorial plane, in reference to the, um, the uh, ecliptic plane. Right, the... Like the horizontal and the vertical, right? No. It's an angle like the orbit from either the horizontal or the vertical. No. They're both they're both talking about the horizontal uh oh. planes. Oh right. They're just different. Yeah. They're different horizontal planes, are they? Yeah. Right, so One's the equatorial plane, like where the equate like the plane if you were to take a horizontal you know, slice of the Earth at the equator, and the other is the orbit around the Sun. If you would take a horizontal slice of that I orbit, keep saying horizontal. What does horizontal mean? It's the orientation in which I'm describing. Yeah, very where specific slices are taken from. orientation, right? It is very specific orientation, yeah. and on which all verticals are built. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like the vertical would be the the, Except your, um, your model, perpendicular. Your model says only one perpendicular vertical on each horizontal. Why do you say that? Because that's when you see that before too. Your model dictates. I've been doing this. For I, 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 you're being vague, and so I'm not I'm sure not what which one vertical you're talking about. You, which vertical? Which, which vertical? Well, like we've just gone through the horizontal one being a very definite position. Now the vertical is. Um, perpendicular 90 degrees to that horizontal. Okay, so I didn't agree with you that the horizontal was a position. I said it's orientation. But the what's the vertical, the is, one vertical that, that you're talking about? Is like, that a very definite position? Is what? A vertical. No, that's also an orientation. It's the orientation is perpendicular to the... by a plumb bob, right? So you're talking about specific locations now. Like I'm your position, about vertical and horizontal. Like, well, if you're talking about specific locations, every specific location will have a, a specific vertical, because down is only one in reference to one position. Okay, so how many verticals can you build that are perpendicular to a horizontal? Okay, now I understand what you now I understand what you're saying. So you're saying that, um, like I told you, with the when I told you if you were on a map. And I put you in the middle, and you make a circle around that map. That circle would be the horizontal, like the horizon, and the one 
uh, spot where you are, where you're standing, the center of that circle would be the one vertical line. You could draw vertical lines all along that circle, but they wouldn't be, um, they would from their, from those separate positions, they wouldn't be uh, straight up and down. They wouldn't be perpendiculars. So you, like once you, once you've done one vertical perpendicular on a horizontal, you can't draw anymore. I'm well, no, it just sure depends on. Have you ever done any perspective drawing or isometric drawing or anything like that? Have you? Sure, yeah. Yeah. So y you know you can do that, right? Yeah, well, the problem here is we're talking about things in two different ways. So when I described you and the circle around you and the vertical lines that could go all around that circle, that's from your position, your perspective. If you were outside of the earth, and you know, thinking of it as a geometric shape, it'd be a much different discussion because you wouldn't have those same observations. Well, like we do look at it as geometry from where we are, right? We don't have to sure. go out anywhere and look in on a geometric shape because we, we are here and we deal with geometry right here, right now. It's unfortunate yeah, but... that you have a model that doesn't fit the geometry, right? It gets you all tied up. All of you get really stuck with it. Not really. Who not, gets, who gets not stuck really. With yeah, who, who, who are you talking about? You've just done um, an infinite number of verticals on a horizontal. Yes. And So I, I described you're not, you're what those two different reference again, points are you? were. You're going to take that back. Can I take a mulligan on that one, please? No. You've okay. changed, man. You're acting silly. I haven't taken anything back. Okay. I so just you described to you why those are two different reference infinite points. infinite number of verticals that are perpendicular... On a horizontal. Yeah, from the perspective of that person standing there. That's right. That's exactly right. From the perspective of somebody standing there. Because from their position, there's one up and down, and that's it. From wherever they're looking at any distance at all, the up and down is not going to be the line that they're seeing straight up and down. It's going to be at some angle, some imperceivably small angle. <laughs> all right. So if I'm holding a plumb bob, out if like let's say i'm stood and i hold my arm out and i have a plumb bob and it it's like hits the water level and it's perpendicular but then if i move my hand to the right hand side then that vertical is hitting the water level that's horizontal again perpendicular right yeah i don't the difference will be a very imperceivably small angle. The difference in what? The perpendiculars that are built upon the same horizontal. Yeah, those two angles. You can do it. You can actually test this. Um, different. Like you do realize that within geometry, one of the uh, specific axioms is uh, all right angles are equal. That's the yeah, where are the right angles in this description? Perpendicular. Oh, in this description that you're describing, perpendicular. The description that you described with the guy holding the the plumb bobs. Where's the right angle in that description? The vertical and horizontal. Uh, they are perpendicular. Okay, so where are the right angles though? Like, if you were to draw, if you were to draw the picture, you described what was happening, but put the right I'll angle get, in that I'll picture. Get the definition up for you, because no, no, I don't want a definition. definition. I don't want you to draw anything. Really I'm just don't asking want, you. You're just asking me what is. Yeah, so yeah. You're saying you're speaking very vaguely, and then when I respond to it, you say some gotcha or something. No. All right. So when, I'm asking you to specifically describe where these triangles are when in this picture. A straight line standing on another straight line makes the adjacent angles equal to one another. Each of the angles is called a right angle. And the straight line which stands on the other is called perpendicular to it. Oh, is the surface of the earth going to be the bottom of your triangle then? Uh, the and then the bomb bomb going to be the other side of the triangle? The water level is horizontal and the um, plumb bob is a vertical, right? I'm trying to help you answer my question, man. Because I'm trying to ask you where these angles are. You said these angles are the same. 
So they're right. The right angles would be the same from each position. Yep. But when you look at the angles together and you uh, measure... Straight line has 180 degrees, right? And if you split that in half exactly, you get 90 degrees. That's called a right angle. That's the basic. Okay, so when I asked you where the angles were, you, you, you went around it. All I was asking you was where was the bottom of the, what was the bottom line, and what's the other line? The, the plumb bob's one line, and the surface is the other line? The is that correct? The horizontal and the vertical. The, the two. I don't understand why you're talking like this, man. I'm asking you regular questions like a regular person. You, it's just, it's just, I'm giving you the answer I'm asking from you, so... You, That's you it, right? Me, the, the, or the surface of the earth. You asked me the where the, the two looks. lines were, and I said the horizontal and the vertical. They're two yes, lines. Those aren't lines, though. Sorry? For, for, those, are, those are two orientations. So, that, <laughs> regardless, you originally asked me if they were the so same. Ridiculous. They would be. They would both be right angles, but the angle that they are from one another would not be the same. And it would be a very the, imperceivably uh, small per difference. Perpendicular, what? Where would the difference be? In their in reference to one another. How? Show me where. where uh, do a drawing for us and show us exactly where where the ninety. Okay, how about this? You different. imagine a circle, and draw an L-shaped right angle on the top part of the circle, and put one just right next to it. They would both be right angles, and a flat part would try to conform to the circle or whatever. They would be angled differently from one another. And okay, because you're talking on. about being like two feet from one another, one meter, it's going to be very imperceivable. Do a quick drawing. No, I just described it to you. I, f I feel like you're oh, old enough oh, to understand oh, what oh, I just that said. That was pretty confusing, that, mate. It's not that confusing, man. You just take one circle and you take two right angles, L shapes, put them on the surface of that circle. No, it's like... And you see that, that, them is that how you still see being in right angles. They're still right angles. They're going to be... Um, imperceivably different angle from one another. Can I get a drawing, please? Uh, no. I gotta see what you're talking about. Why not? That's fine. I've I described it again. I described it twice. Maybe Beth okay, can explain it to you. Have a look in the live stream, enough. right? And have a look at perpendicular. Because it... Uh, I'm so... I'm sorry. So, um, I, yeah, perpendicular. Yeah. What okay. about it? Can you see the drawing? It? the thing um like yeah it's the doesn't it yeah exactly it? The L, that's that's the l shape i'm talking about that's, that's right that's the right angle a, it's a t shape upside down sure if you take one half of it, it's an l shape if you look at no, both no, no, sides no, it's no, an upside down t look, look, sure the definition is when a straight line standing on another straight line yeah okay that's so that is a straight line on another straight line, not chopped off at half of it, so it's just the right one, right angle. It's a straight line standing on another. What's your What's your point with this? Let go of your mic when he's talking, please. Well, I'm trying to say something. Well, he wasn't done. So, well, no, but he, okay. So, why are you telling me this? This thing I already know that you know I already know. Because you, you're trying to get it. You're gonna go and try and put that on a circle. Why are you trying to put that on a circle? If that's what the Earth is, is a sphere. Then, when you make a perpendicular line Sorry? from where you are, you it's going to go straight of, down. Like you, like in and the bottom line is going to be imperceivably vertical, curved, and not you're flat. You're just going to inject a circle. I'm not injecting a circle. I'm talking about doing this on Earth. And of course, if I believe the Earth is a sphere, I'm not injecting the sphere. Right. So, where's what your I think horizontal Earth surface is. then? Right. I think we've just been through this just a little bit before, but. Um, where's your horizontal surface? Is is the water level a horizontal surface then? Is that I where you're I think just ge geodesic surveyors, they perceive or they, they use they 100 square miles. They use 100 square miles of any given area as um, flat Ooh, you just to help with their calculations. What, the geodesic hmm. surveyors use a flat plane of 100 square miles to help them with calculations of what? Uh, yeah, they use this to. They use this because it's it um, uh, it's it works with, with so to think using things like perpendicular and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, it works perfectly. So well, they like, use it. so you can have like an infinite number of vertical perpendiculars on any horizontal plane, then, right? Well, for every hundred square miles. Yeah, for up to a hundred square miles. 
big region. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like over, let's say, five mile a, radius. Let's say, let's say it's a, um, let's say it's a hundred miles by one mile. I mean, that's a pretty wide project. That's not what they're talking about, though. A hundred square about, miles. Right? I'm talking about a circle. I'm talking about a circle with a you five want mile radius. circle. Rate. Yeah, it's a circle with. That's what a hundred square miles would be. Five, Sorry? I think five. Five square again. miles. I mean, five point five um, radius circle. Wait, so right, so a hundred square miles is now a, a circular distance. Where, yeah. where does this, you, where does this project start then? If I put you somewhere start and I in said the middle, you only you only have a hundred square miles to roam, you would then have a circle from where you are five and a half miles yeah. in every direction. That would be a hundred square miles. Right, so let's say if you're only going in one direction, then how far? And you're not far? doing what they're talking about. Yeah, well, then you're doing what you're talking about. Right, so how far could you go then? What's the what's the maximum distance that you've just decided that 100 square miles could possibly be? I'm just telling you how these people end up, what they're talking about. When they're no, trying yeah, to make you understand No, 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 what you're talking and they, no, about No, uh, listen, man. No, what listen, you're talking I'm not about your is game. that geodesic not surveys, game, dude. right? Yes, Geo geodesic, they, geodesic they, surveys. They're not talking a about a straight line 100 miles. Of 100 <laughs> square miles, right, before they actually have to do anything. But they're dictating that that 100 square miles must be a circle Right from the that's what, the, that's what adults and normal people who do this that's what they're talking about when they where, say that. Where did you when you get buy that a property from? and they say it's a hundred square miles, it's not going to be one mile by hundred. It's probably going to be some square. Where did you okay? So when they're the talking about this, they're talking about a radius with this hundred square miles, Kosho. Where, where or did, again? did Wardy just come into Gems and tell you about this hundred square miles? Or no, this is where, this is known. Where have you got this from? Then. This is known. I've talked to geodesic surveyors. I talked to them uh, regularly. Who? And we talk, we've talked. we had these conversations who, who, for two who, years who, or so. Who, who are your and we've been on, this, we've been on these subjects. Please. Say again? Who are the geodesic surveyors that you talk to? I know to a couple. Uh, you probably know you Jesse. That they, Jesse. They come and measure a circle for other plane surveyors to use. That can help. Let me ask you a question. When you when you've heard this, when you've heard this, hundred square miles, did you think that it was a vague idea? Did you think that they meant vaguely a hundred square miles, like a hundred in one direction and one mile in another direction, and that's a rectangle? No, one hundred. Or did you, did you know that they meant a hundred square mile, miles? Like one mile wide, one hundred miles long. Yeah, that's not what they meant. I'm sorry that you thought that, but that's not at all what they mean, isn't it? Is is that calculation one hundred square miles? You know what also is a hundred square miles of uh, five hundred that or five million miles in one direction. Or no, sorry, five hundred thousand miles in one direction and one foot in the other direction. Okay, that would be five that would be one hundred square miles. But that's not what they're talking about. But what is um okay? what would and you it's have known. That was a foot wide in the project? Tony <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to ask, what was the names of the surveyors that you said? Because you started by saying G, and I wanted to hear the Jesse names. Jesse Kowalski, whatever his name is. All oh, right. Oh, so you, you don't even know his surname. What about the other guys? Let's call him Jesse K, okay? Yeah, like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah, but it just seems That's odd that you don't know his name, but Jesse. you say you spoke to him. Jesse's quite some really good bad doing feedback. What the, dude, what are you guys doing, man? Hang on. You guys are Kosho. the shittiest gotchas. Kosho. Get him out of here. Kosho, you've got some really bad feedback or echo or... Thing. He won't let go of the mic, that's why. Because when I'm talking, other people jump in, my bad. He's feeding it. No, 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 no. It's he? even, it's even talking. You leave it. Just echoes. I tell Tony, not just you. Echoes one. Sorry. Echo one, echo two. You get it. Go ahead, Beth. It just seems strange that he doesn't know the name of the surveyors. He's come up with like Jesse because of little bit of it, and he doesn't know anybody else. There's Jesse. There is one more. Kosho, right? You know, several. I know a bunch of them. I'm done telling you names, though, dude. You guys have the... You, like, you guys ask questions that seem uh, normal. They have normal answers. And I guess because you have nothing else to pick on, you pick on how I'm saying his last name. No, no. I don't know him enough to know his last name. I haven't had fucking dinner with him. 
Can, okay. Can we talk? I know his name. I know, but I have spoke with Mick West, and I do know I do know his name. So it's like uh, Chris Van Matre. I know his name, but you you've spoken to Jesse. Um. By the way, I have figured out where they all came in today. Um. So. Gems is she cutting out for everyone else as well? Uh, just yeah, a little she's... bit. Yeah, she you clipping for me as well, Emma. Yeah, I've just rejoined. Um, I figured out why everybody has been coming in today. Um, but Bev, if you, you know, I said soundly and all that were in gems. Yeah. It's because they're um, doing a YouTube live stream at the moment. Oh, are they? <laughs> yeah, it's actually you know like a twenty four seven. Oh, Jem's getting his hours. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yep. <laughs> so they're they're live now. Mhm. Mm so is, yeah, if you um, you wanted to, you get him <laughs> so basically, what's there. going on is Jem needs another X amount of hours, mm. so he's got everyone to go and watch the live feed whilst they had the conversation in Discord. Yeah, and they come over, sending people over here to go back and go, well, you know what Bev says? Bev still says levels horizontal. Dude, I didn't come over to argue with you. I told you that when I came in here. You guys start asking me bullshit questions. Look at this guy, man. Not, Get you, out of here. not you, Kosho. I'm just... Goodness <laughs> gracious, his panties in a bunch. But, I mean, like, it is a position you have to... You're forced into it, aren't you? I, mean, I feel sorry for you, Coach. I really do. You came in. I, I came in here not to argue with any of you guys. Riley oh, starts jumping at me about some bullshit, and then you start jumping at me about some bullshit. <laughs> right? It wasn't bullshit. It wasn't about anything. You just silly stuff. I never, I never just grill you on it, right? I just asked you I never about your balloon. The names that you pronounce. Coach, 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 I just asked you about your balloon, man. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> Those are fine I questions. Only, that, I didn't ask anything about what you said. Cosine. And this guy's jumping oh, about this, and he's jumping about that. I'm not talking about, like, I'm not here to argue with you guys about did, fucking did bullshit, dude. Jumping, Tony? <laughs> I, I was just ribbing him about cosine. It's not really bullshit. It was something that we did speak about. I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was true, not bullshit. Are you ready to look dumb? Because I got that picture for you. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Let's have a look. Live stream text, please. Should we what start pictures? streaming then? What pictures are these? No, yeah, I'm getting ready for going to bed. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's like twenty past ten on like. Oh, we got we got one tomorrow anyway, haven't we? Yes, we have nine p.m. Right, I'll have to. Uh, I'll go through that um, video. I right, expect everybody things, to be here. What are we doing? We're going Talking. Over, Don't spill the beans. Don't spill the beans. <laughs> yeah, Coach they're, will go back and re report to the enemy. They're in a container, aren't they? Hey, Coach, do you have any sway with Slice of Arcane? He's just checking. Check with the guys. Might. I think you might have annoyed Coach, sorry. No, I just, I've, I learned. Uh, that some of you guys aren't good actors, um, Pardon? good faith actors. So um, oh, yeah. it's not a big deal. But I came, yeah, I came here to have a regular so conversation with normal people. The yeah, questions you, I asked before, by somebody who asked about the balloon, that's a fair question. The rest of you guys are just looking for gotchas. So I'm, 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 not, I'm not participating with you. Uh, well, if you learn that we're not very good actors, how does that good influence faith, good faith really actors. actors. Me I'm just talking about you and Bev. <laughs> uh, Bev used to be cool, but for some reason he, he's doing the same. I guess he's learned from you. What? Jumping on, <laughs> jumping on bullshit. Kosho, please. <coughs> what have we learned? I, I can't remember. Anyways, Riley, only... that green line in there, that's described as the cosine. Okay? Where? If you're talking about the phase of the moon, and you're using that top angle of where the moon is during the, the new moon phase as being um, 90 degrees from the uh, uh, quarter moon cycle. Okay, so whenever the moon is at the quarter moon cycle, the two cycles we're talking about, the quarter moon and the new moon, it goes much, takes much longer in the cosine, uh, the cosine that it's um, uh, changing in that, um, in that part of its Which cycle is much more than the cosine during the quarter moon phase. That's not the cosine. 
That is cosine. You need a triangle. That's the sign. A oh, sign is the other one. Hang on. Forgive me, I'm colorblind. The, the, are you talking about the cord that goes across the top of the picture at 12 o'clock? Just the right hand side. The green line. Of that yeah, I'm colorblind, dude. That doesn't help me. Yeah, just just the half, the right hand side. Half oh, there's two the colors there. Yeah, the Sorry, I didn't red, see there was two colors. Green. Yeah, red and green. Which you yeah, wouldn't be able to one. tell the difference. Yeah. Oh, so no, hang on, so let me just... see the red against the black, will you? No, I can see the green. I can see the green. It's underneath the red, isn't it? So yeah. the green line is the cosine. So where's the sign? Which one's the sign then? Sign oh, yeah. in this in this picture. Where's the triangle that that is the? Yeah, cosine that's what I'm getting of. at. Because that's not right. That you've got that wrong. <laughs> what the fuck are we looking at? Don't know. <laughs> you, we, yeah, you need a triangle, right, to establish the cosine. It's the sine, the cosine, Co and the, the tangent. The cosine right? would be it's from the tangent. The, the cosine would be the line out from the center of the circle, and that would go to where the green line starts. That vertical line that would be the cosine, and then the oh, sine nice. would be the green line, and then you've got the angle coming back. Hang on, I'm let here, me get your picture. I'm here to save the day. Copy image. Paste. In that image that I've put there, Kosho, can you see the image that I've posted? Oh, you may have beat me to it. Oh, yeah, there you go. what I was going to post. Oh, yeah, exactly. So in this yeah, picture, not what you're showing, where's though? the cosine? That's the sign, isn't it? The cosine, cosine is the distance from the center up to the the green line on your diagram. No, you, the, you said the it was the green line. line. That would the be the green sign. Line is my cosine. I no, that's wrong. Where's, well, where's the triangle? Where, where's, the, where's your other line for the triangle? Look, dude, if you have, if let's say that this is the moon, the picture you drew, and the corner that's on the circle, that is where the moon is. The cosine would be that line at the bottom where it says cosine. That would be the same line if you took it from the moon to the center. So all I did was take it from that part to the center. That's the cosine. Yeah, but on your diagram, you've identified the sine as the cosine. That's incorrect. Oh, that's and the, you haven't got a third line. The horizontal line. The horizontal line is the cosine. What horizontal the vertical line the is the sine. What horizontal line? The green line or the dotted white line. The green line, the horizontal line, the green horizontal line is the cosine. No, that's the sign. Triangle. It's not the sign. The sign is a vertical line. No, that would be the cosine. Look at your picture. The no, cosine no, is the no, horizontal coach, line. Coach, no, no, no. You're getting mixed up between um, radius and chords here, right? Yeah, Don't he get mixed up between vertical and horizontal right at this minute because you'd look like a fucking knobhead. <laughs> right, let's try right. this again because this is getting silly. Kosho, Co you the haven't got your third line. And you're sitting there disagreeing with your own picture. And look no, no, at your line. Kosho, you haven't got your third line for your triangle. You can say hold on, Riley. Come on. No, hold on. I've just said something to me. I'm going to address what he said. The one where it says one on that circle, that's the radius. That's the, tangent. that's the radius. So don't get confused. The radius is the where it says the one. The sine is the vertical line. The cosine is the horizontal line. Those are the three yeah, lines. Okay. So, uh, Kosho, where would the moon be on that on the bottom picture? On this bottom picture, it would be where the um where it intersects with the circle, where the one intersects with the circle. No, it's where the X is. It's where the yeah, that's that where you're going wrong. Yeah, you're, no. you're identifying the tan or, or the radius as the cosine, and it's not. No, dude. No, he's, he's How is green with the picture of the radius and, and, and vertical and horizontal on his picture? And he's going, Jeez, cosine is horizontal on that bottom picture, so therefore the green one in that top picture is also horizontal, so that must be cosine also. That's yeah, what that's wrong means, yeah, yeah, dude. No, 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 that's, no, that's wrong. completely wrong, dude. Dude, guys, just because you want to be right together or agree with each other, you don't have to be wrong together, okay? There's nothing right about what you're saying. All right, let, let, what is let me show it to you. In my circle? Let me show it to you the way that you'll understand it. And I don't mean that in a patronizing way. Let me just reorientate it so that you can see it. I want to rotate that. Flips. Well, oh, balls. You? 
and move that to there. I'm glad someone's going to explain it. Because I'm confused. I'm going to try. Yeah, you can see that. You Copy can that. The right angle, little now, bit on Koshow's one up at the top there. Right, Kosho. That's the way that your diagram should be drawn. Well, no, flip right. it over. The mirror image it. And it'll be exactly I, I, I don't know if I can. I can try. Listen, I might have got fake emails, but I can't flip images. Images. Image. Flip horizontal. Okay, so what should the green line be? I'm getting to it now. It is the cosine, so... Yeah, Tony's is going to show now. It's the same picture. I just put where this where the symbols would be. The yeah. one is the radius. Oh, yeah. oh, no, and it's the line. He's just reorientated mm -hmm. his picture and look at that now. It's not the same picture, Kosho. You've added a line there that wasn't in the yeah, first anyway, instance. Yeah, the radius, so you would know that's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah you I mean, the before. They're in the wrong place, Kosho. Yeah. They're not. The is in the wrong place. That is the radius. The one is the, the radius. Co Kosho, you've got cosine in the wrong place and you've got sine in the wrong place. Your diagrams are both wrong. Why does it match your why does it match your dot your picture? The picture that you drew. The, 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 you the vertical Kosho, you've got the vertical as sine. The one that yes. I've got is the vertical is showing cosine. Your horizontal is you've got it labeled as cosine. I've got it identified as sine. Yeah, in the wrong way around. Picture, where the X and the Y coordinates are in the correct directions. Not when the Y is in the sideways and the X is up. If you can turn the pictures around and make it wrong, sure, it's right. But it's not how circles, it's not how we do um, geometry at all. It's not how we do trigonometry. We put the X I, in the, I've in the vertical axis. It so the, y, X. the X in the horizontal axis and the Y in the vertical axis. I've, orienta I've orientated it so that it matches your format and the X on the lower picture it represents your moon. But can you see the vertical is identified as cosine? It's flipped, but it's still identified as yeah, cosine. It's just the picture, man. You just flipped the I picture. A, can I ask a simple question? Is the cosine always on that same side of the right angle? Yeah, the one from, yeah, the, other from the center point. It's, it's always, always, always a right angle yes, triangle. So you, so, yeah, so basically you find the right angle, and to find the cosine, it's always that straighter longer the straighter longer yeah because the tan yeah. Yeah. this yeah. Is goes okay. back to soccer toe doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah. Sign... I, was, I was just trying to work it out in my head but I've, yeah that makes sense to me so yeah you you put right, the so... you put the right angle in your little diagram co show and it would be up in the top left hand corner of that triangle which is so where then... it's represented on the one below yeah, yeah. No, it, so, it could be so... on either side it would, it's, it would be the same answer if you have it on either side yeah, but the yeah, point but is that the, the sign. The, yeah, that long one should be co, cos, not sign. Yeah, the, the vertical oh, the one, one should be cosine. You've got identified as sign. That's incorrect. No, if the, this unit circle, the way you have it, that's a unit circle. If you try to do this and you try to do it the other way, you're going to get the wrong answer. The sign is no. the, the sign is the one that's vertical when you have the x as the horizontal and the y as the vertical. Where, the where's sign your, right, is going to be vertical and the cosine is going to be horizontal. Kosho, where's your right angle? Identi put, put another picture on screen and identify oh, where your right it's, angle is. It's right there where the intersection of the um, the green and red line meet that checkered line. That's where right. the so, right angle is. So from there, you can work out all of your your lengths, can't you? Your sine, your cosine, and your, your, your tan. You've got them the wrong way around, sir. How is it the wrong way around? What are you talking about? Because you've got your, your cosine identified as your sine, and you've got your sine identified as your cosine. No, dude. I mean, have you ever seen a yeah. unit circle before? Emma, do you understand what we're saying? Yeah, I do. And I've, I've just looked up something, and basically that side that I'm on about is called the adjacent. Yeah, opposite over adjacent and, and, and the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse, yeah. And the adjacent is always next to the angle, and opposite is always opposite the angle. So then yeah. the cosine is always the adjacent. Correct. Yeah, so which, where's the angle that you, you're measuring? You're measuring the angle from the Earth, right, Kosho? So that would be oh. that center point. No, we're not measuring any angles. The question originally a what? long time ago. 
The question you're originally not a long time measuring ago. Measuring angles Jesus Christ, you're Bev. using cosine. Like what the Bev, fuck please, are you doing? Please please Bev. The question that Riley asked a long time ago was why the new moon lasts longer than the quarter moon phase. All right, if you notice from the where I drew that red line from one side of the circle to the other side where it's green, that whole area will be perceived as a new moon. There'll be some parts where um, it might be smaller than that. It might be closer to that circle. But either way, it's gonna it's a longer distance. Yeah, it's a okay. longer distance than the cosine that you're gonna get from when you change from uh, the right before the quarter moon phase and right after it. Cosho, the the cosine me. changes very little, where it changes greatly over that time. So it takes listen, a much longer time. Listen, just let me respond. Forget about the question back then. We're dealing with the, the illustration on screen right now. You've got your cosine incorrectly identified as your sine, and you've got your sine incorrectly identified as your cosine. And Emma understands it. And if you can't even accept that yours is wrong right now, this is the point where we've got to say, Kosho, you need to leave, mate. You've got it black and white I wrong. Can leave, buddy, but I like Emma. Emma is cool. But just because you're confused with her doesn't mean that um, I'm going to be oh, wrong for some reason. Kosho. Okay, um, he's trying to say that because Emma disagrees with me, that she understands what Riley has no. incorrectly stated. That oh, means no, that somehow I, I have to admit that I'm wrong. I myself and refresh my memory. Oh, yeah, that's you fine, know, but you it. said it. I did it all at school, too. and I actually really enjoyed it once I got into it. Yeah, what you, what you stated you stated about the triangles, that's true. Mm -hmm. About the opposite and adjacent. Those are the like right angle uh, identities for how you can determine what the... Uh, yeah. other angles are yeah and all an that. angle and a distance right trigonometry kosho yeah sure. yeah, yeah and also part of trigonometry is a unit circle so you can the see, unit circle has the circle the on an x and y what's your distance yeah the unit circle has a circle on an x and y coordinate system the y is the uh vertical and the x is the horizontal and the cosine is always going to be a uh measured in a hor as a horizontal on that unit circle that's no. what the cosine it actually is. It doesn't no, mean no, anything if you, if you change this definition. From the angle. Right? Why do we need to accept this? It's a right angle, this triangle, Kosho. And the relationship of cosine, sine, and the hypotenuse, the tangent, are a relationship to the angle that you're talking about on the triangle. That's why it's useful to use these. Yeah. Because you can determine their relationship. Yeah, from the angle. And the angle, I'm taking it, because you're doing trigonometry, right? It's that angle at the centre. Thank you, Redman. Look at Redman's illustration. Can you see that? It, I know it's back to front because I had to flip it horizontally. That's my point. It's it's just because you turn the paper sideways doesn't mean that it's, it, you can change that. If you turn the paper sideways, you've changed the coordinate system now. It's relational. The coordinate system the is angle, the y is vertical, and the x is horizontal. The angle. You've still, yeah, you've got. To, it's got to be the adjacent. It doesn't matter. On the triangle, that cosine has got to be the adjacent. It's got to be. So if you have, if you move the circle. Like where mine is, it's at the top part. But you if you move it down to where... The, the, the hold on, Bev. The circle hold doesn't on, Bev. matter. The circle doesn't matter. Yeah, no, but the, the, that's, where the, that's where these are determined. These are triangles in a circle. Yeah, but it's all to so do with the right angle. No, it's just to do with Yeah, the, so if you take the second triangle like the... Right angle triangle. Okay, guys. Okay, so. All right. If you take the triangle like the first one that Riley posted, where it's closer to the um that side, the adjacent is the... um uh. I'm sorry, the opposite is going to be the other side now. So it's like you can't, it's, it's not going to change just because the, um, just because the triangle looks different. You see what I mean? Like if you try to say the, and the adjacent are on Riley's first matter. picture. Wherever the adjacent is, that is the cosine. Cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? Yeah. I That's also want to record in this. This is like, this is a really good example where a baller, hang on, this is a really good example where a baller is demonstrably wrong and will not concede. Look at Riley's picture and somebody, anybody, Emma, Emma even, anybody, look at Riley's picture and tell me where the adjacent and the opposite are. The, which, the angle that you're taking, right? The is adjacent. Where, where the zero is, is the, right? So the adjacent yeah. is the, the one 
connected to it. That's marked cosine. Yeah, it's the adjacent one. It's like on the same side mm -hmm. as the angle. It's adjacent to the angle that you're talking about. That is the cosine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the other you can one look is... at you can be talking about any of the three angles. Yeah, we're talking about no. the specific the angle. You're talking about yes, adjacent of course. to the <laughs> angle. Kosho, let me ask you a question. Do you know what Sokotoa is? Yeah, that's how you determine. That's the same thing we're talking about. Yep. So what's what's the sign? Um, it would be so. So it would be opposite over opposite over a uh, hypoten uh, uh, hypotenuse. Okay, and then so that's so, and then ka. What's the cosine? Yeah, we we, we just did this. Uh, it would be uh, cosine would be the uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. Correct. So if you know that, why is it that you're not realizing that you've got these misidentified? Because I've just told you, the angle that you're talking about when you say opposite and adjacent, it depends on what angle you're talking about. Yeah. You can it, talk it about any of the three angles. Degree. We did say that at the beginning. The angle is in the center, right, Kosho? Yeah, and so in the case of the angle in the center, the opposite is going to be the... Um, where, you've, where Tony's labeled sign. Yeah, the sign, exactly. And you've labelled cos. Okay. So you, you've done it wrong, like Tony said. No, that's correct. <laughs> oh my god! You've just, <laughs> said it it was, you've just said it was different. What, no, what, wait, no, no, no. What did I, no. What When did I say it was different? I said it depends on which angle you're talking about. And then you're saying if you're oh. talking about the one at the centre, talking about the one at the centre, then the opposite no. of that... Yeah, but Kosho, do you agree that the ninety degree, the the right angle, is where you start, and then from there you plot your other your your other labels, right? So you start with your hypotenuse because right, it's right, opposite, yeah. and then you then you apply your adjacent and your uh, uh, opposite, right? No, no, no it, Tony, it's the relationship between the angle, right? So it, you know, it's a right angle triangle, and you need to know a distance, right? So you find out the length you know the distance of and the angle that you need to know. Right? So you pick an, an angle and go, right, now, if I've got this distance here, then I can do it, can't I? I can have the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. So the, whichever angle you have, the cosine is the one that's adjacent to it. And the sine is the one that's opposite to the relationship between the triangle and the angle, right? That's what it is, the cosine and the sine. So when you're at the, um, the zero degrees point on the unit circle, when it's at the very right side, right? Yeah. Zero degrees. Yeah. When you go to 90 degrees, okay? At 90 degrees, the sine is zero and the cosine is one no, no, or whatever no, like you forget about the like there's there's a right angle triangle there right that leaves two other angles doesn't it what yeah. one of the angles is taken up that's 90 degrees that's a, a constituent of trigonometry you need a right angle triangle now the other two angles you pick one right which one do you want to pick because the angle that you choose the cosine will be the side that is adjacent to that angle. To the 90 degree angle? The one that's adjacent to the 90 degree angle is going to be different depending on how far away you're... Uh, which, which one you're, is uh, adjacent to the 90 degree angle? Tell me, Kosho. Brains. Which, which side angle? is adjacent to the 90 degree because we're not talking about the 90 degree we know that's a 90 degree angle that, that yeah i know but if you're talking about from that angle listen. they're both adjacent from that angle that's why it's Guys, not listen. how you say it I've, listen i've asked rumpus to come in and settle this will you accept <laughs> that rumpus's word whichever way round he says it i'll accept it if he says it's against me or us if you'll accept it if he says it's against you would you agree okay, that well, what are you stating decide? that i'm getting wrong Jeez. start with that <laughs> No, I'm going to ask him. No, start, with that. Start, start with, with that. so you don't ask him to say something that I obviously agree with. 
So what are you saying? Start with the first picture. picture. That Tony's got is correct, right? I'm going to ask him with the fit. Rumpus, are you there, Rumpus? Yeah, I'm here. Why don't you ask, him, hang hold, on, ask, hang ask on, Rumpus hang this? On. Rumpus, on my picture. Hang on, can I, hang on. Can I just can I just make a clarification? I think maybe I think this is my personal opinion that it depends on the angle you're actually measuring. That's so correct. Where, which side is the cosine and? The, well, um, right, hang on. Let's not lead any conversation. Hang let's on, just no, go back to on. the. Yeah, I know, I know. But this, I wanted to clarify. I've I've kind of changed my opinion slightly. Sorry. All right. So just hang fire. Let's not influence Rumpus. All right, Rumpus, him to be neutral. Yeah, so show Rumpus, 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 a favor. I, yeah, Rumpus, my picture that I've posted, it says <laughs> Professor <laughs> Domingo. Okay, Sorry? Yeah, it's, it's, ta it's, it's time it's stamped 2222. Let's start. 2229 20, 20, 20, is where no, I've marked 20, it. Not 2236. Not, not, not okay. No, so 2222. 20, 20, Riley, hold on. Start at the beginning. It's really oh, simple. Sure, hold on. Yeah, with a, with a, with a, what looks like a sun or something clipped with a. Yes, a I've marked it at 29, though. 29, I have the symbols where they're supposed to be. They're telling me that that's not the cosine, the sine, and the radius for some reason. Uh, what is right. it? Sorry. All right, so let me, Koshal, let me explain it to him simply. At 2222, he doesn't show three sides to a triangle, but he tries to tell us that the green line that goes from at the top of the chord, he tries to tell us that that's uh, the cosine, okay? But we ask him, we say, there's no, there's, where's the third line? So he then comes back and he draws the third line and he identifies the cosine and the sine at 2229. Does he have the cosine and the sine the correct way round at twenty two twenty nine? Yeah, or it not? depends on where you've got theta. He's where he's put theta. That's correct. Yes. So yeah, the right the angle. Theta, if, theta the, if theta was the other side of that red line, so it was between the horizontal and the hypotenuse, then it would be wrong. But it's not. He's put theta. Are you between... saying he's measuring that angle over there? Hang on, he hasn't put, he hasn't put theta anywhere. He has. Yeah. He has not identified. At twenty two twenty nine, there's a diagram with theta in it. Where? Professor on, let Mario, me make it bigger. Sorry, uh, no, Mar that's sorry. Tony's okay. talking about yours. Sorry, uh, okay. He, so his Professor Domino at 2236, which was the last one, he's put, um, okay, there is an angle, he's called it 60 degrees. No, no, not, forgive me, that's oh, not what we're asking. We're, we're not asking, at 2229, Professor Domino's got a black image. On oh, that sorry. image. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I was yeah. looking at the wrong thing. Apologies. It's okay. It's okay. On that image, there's no theta identified, but he's oh, got, he's got cosine. And... Yeah, yeah. We've got to identify the theta. Without the theta, it's meaningless. But we've got the we've got the right angle at the yeah, top, you need right? Theta. You need to you yeah. need to define where okay. the if it's the, the... if it's implied that the theta is between in the internal of the triangle as you've drawn it at twenty two twenty nine, then he's wrong. But it, so oh. if you decide that. So, ah, so right, you, okay. Yeah, yeah. So what that gives the theta on the earth then. in the middle of in, the, in that triangle then. So it depends where you put oh, okay. the theta. Yeah, so you've right. so gone so out and put you it on earth and oh, he, he can't measure so what another angle. Posted, can he? What you've posted at twenty two twenty nine, uh Anthony, is correct. Yes. Twenty two twenty nine that I posted at twenty yeah, Yes, that's right. Because we were talking Right, so yeah. what he's done then is because he's not identified theta on the image, he can claim that he was correct because he didn't identify it. But we were talking from Earth's perspective with regards to the moon. Well, I mean, obviously, so theta you, would tend be on use, Earth. you tend to use the theta as the internal angle of the triangle you're worrying about. So yours is a much more natural way to interpret where theta is. To, so for him to be right, theta would have to be on the other side. It would have to be... You, you Which wouldn't be... That that wouldn't be the angle of the moon from Earth's perspective, would it? Oh, so we're looking plan. Oh, right. This is a plan view, is it? Um, yeah, of, the of of the moon yeah, in its yeah, phase yeah. from right. Earth. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking down on the Earth and the moon and the sun. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. So the angle that you've drawn in the theta is the angle. Well, I mean, obviously you've got to decide. Yeah. If you decide that your zero is towards the sun, then you've put theta in the right place to describe where the moon is. With respect to an angle from the line of a line from you to the sun, from the Earth to the sun, yeah, it's not. It's yeah, not me. It's your it's, baseline. If you say it's your base, if you say that you draw the line from the middle of the sun to the middle of the Earth, you say right, that's zero. Yeah. Then his diagram is wrong. Yeah, but, if that's correct. Where, he hasn't, where's your he diagram, hasn't measured correct. an angle and put an angle on his, has he? So. No, he hasn't. He's not identified theta, right? But what well, we were talking implied, about was the angle to the moon. If you're talking about cos and sine, there's got to be an implied angle. Yes. So yeah, it was from the Earth. 
Yeah, it was from you... the Earth to the Moon. So the Ang yeah, the theta, although he's not identified it. You can't just say you've got to if you put a sign the cos that is of a function of an angle. So you've got to include the angle. And if he doesn't bother to put it in, and you've obviously the the zero you tend to start off with is what you've done in your diagram at twenty twenty nine, where you'd say, right, we're going to take the zero to be the straight line from the uh, center of the Earth to the center of the Sun. That's going to be your zero, and then the theta. Oh, for Christ's sake! Wait, anyway, you're basically you're correct, Anthony. <laughs> You, you've done it right. You've done it right. Thank you very much, Rumpus. Yeah, yeah my zero right. was the perpendicular line. So your zero was the per no, it wasn't because you know yeah. that means that I was using I was I was using it as if it was a unit circle. Space, then. I had set a unit so, circle. A unit circle starts with a zero at the right angle line. But remember, line we were talking about we were talking about something to do with the moon from the perspective of the Earth. That puts your theta at the bottom. No, do I know it doesn't. No, okay, so I told you I told you that from the right angle, that's where the zero is, like where the um where the quarter moon is on the right side. That's that's where my zero was. That's how unit circles are measured. The only I've even told you I've told you that that's the X and that's the Y. The the only wiggle room you've got is is the argument that you didn't identify theta, which turns out to be important, right? But we knew that you were talking from Earth's perspective, that puts your theta at the bottom. That I told you where you my zero point was, man. I told I told it explicitly where it was. So is your, I said is your it was on the right side. Arbitrary point in space, then is that what you're saying? Zero. I said it was on the right side. I said it so many times, dude. I said that it's the same way as a unit circle. It's a, the x is the horizontal and the y is the uh, vertical. Why, why would you and do that? And the zero that is on the right side. Why would you do that when we're talking about from Earth's perspective of the moon, the angle to the moon? You're putting yourself in an arbitrary position in space somewhere. We can hold this silence for a long time. I've told I've told this to you already, Anthony. So like you can keep yeah. on saying that I didn't tell oh, you. you. I told you where you the wrong? zero was. You asked me where the angle was. You, you said, where does it start? You said, the zero, no, you said the, where does the zero the, start? The, not, the zero's on the right side. Position in space. I didn't say that you could flip it around and do it all different ways. I said the zero's on the right side. When you have a unit circle, no, I, when you have zero I degrees. I don't remember. Yeah, when you have, even, okay, Anthony, it, Anthony, Anthony, when you have, Anthony, when you have a, a unit circle, when you have a unit circle and you have zero degrees, the zero degrees is, is right there on the right side. That's where I put that. Dude, that puts you in an arbitrary position in space. That's not what you were arguing. That is, was exactly. I said that every single time. I don't remember you saying that, but even if you did, that's not the perspective from Earth, is it? Which is the point you were making. I read your mind, Kosho. I knew what you were going to do. And I, I, do you know what? We're going to go back and listen to see whether or not you did actually say that. Because if you did, that puts you in an arbitrary position in space, which is not what you were arguing. And it's disingenuous anyway, because we're all looking at it going, he's on about the bullseye, because that's Earth. He's on about the thing at the top, that's the moon. And he's on about the angle between the two. That's what you're talking about. But well, the moon reason, goes now around moved it, that whole circle. Like, now just, moved it and said that you're not actually on Earth. Just a minute. You're like, a random well, position. Well, well, right, this is trigonometry, right? So you're doing a function there, right? And it's a function of the angle. But it's also, you need a, what, you, you know, like the opposite over the hypotenuse, right? So you work the function of the opposite over the hypotenuse so you can work out the distance of the hypotenuse usually, isn't it? So you know the length of one side and you work out the sine and the cosine of the angle that is adjacent or opposite to that distance, Right? So you can work out the distance of the hypotenuse. That's what you do trigonometry for. So in that one that you've reordered, where is the distance that you know that is um, the cosine of the adjacent side? So it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, right? So what's that distance there that you got? Because I figured the other one was because the angle was the cosine of the angle because that was the side that you sort of knew the distance, right? To where you had that chord. That that was the distance you needed. So that's the angle and the adjacent. That's why it's a cosine, right? 
It's the relationship between the side and the angle that is adjacent to it. Like, if you knew the side that the sign was on, you'd use that, wouldn't you? As being the opposite to the angle. Right? Do, do you not know how trigonometry be honest, works? Bev, you, confu you, you confused the fuck out of everyone, and I think I'm sure you did. Did I, you sure? Well, no, I, that's how trigonometry works, isn't it? It's the can we not just say, can, can we not just agree that even though he didn't identify theta on his diagram, we were talking about theta at the bottom because that's where Earth yeah, yeah, you, is. You, that, were, the, you were spot on, Tony, right? What I'm saying is, Kosho's tried to fix it to make it look like he's right, but now he hasn't got that distance. So that's see this, unit, see this unit circle that I just posted again? This is the orientation I was talking about every single time. It's the only said, orientation on. I was talking about. You said you posted it again. Where's the other times you posted it? Every time I've posted a unit circle, I've posted it in this orientation. Unit circle. The one that I've posted, the uh, other ones I've posted, and the one I drew. They're always in this orientation. They're just like, yeah, it's, that's just a I did circle. That, I did that for a reason. All the way around for 300 yeah, it's a circle degrees. in the correct orientation. Yeah, but you've so got to the orientation the I drew it in you? on purpose. That's what I meant. The zero degrees is on the right side. On <laughs> what? It, like, it depends where your angle is on the triangle. This is, The trigonometry is a relationship between the sides and the angles of a triangle, a right-angled triangle. Right? So the angle, whatever angle you have, and whichever length or distance you have, you use the cosine, the sine... Or the tangent that has the relationship that you need to work out what you need to find out using the one angle and the one side that you have. That's what There's angles that's all what over the trigonometry is. It's a, it's a function, right? Of the relationship between the sides and the angle of a right angle triangle. I've just realized he's, he's not actually going to concede this, is he? No, he's, he's not. still going to double why, down. Dude, why, why would I concede something that I, even Rumpus agreed? It depends no, on where my zero wrong. point is. I told no, you where my no, zero point was. No, 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 Rumpus didn't agree with you. Rumpus did not agree with you. Yes, he, he says said, if his zero point was at the top, then he's wrong. I didn't say my no. zero point was at the top. No, that's not what he said. No, zero point. Yes, he did. No, he said that's theta. Exactly he, said. he didn't say zero point at any time. He yes, said theta. The, theta, the theta is the angle. The angle is zero. Zero being where the um, theta is, the is at the top. Is zero. In his description. In, in my description, it's on the right. No, but you're not in an arbitrary position in space, are you, where you're measuring the angle from? No, you're not. You're not measuring Earth from an arbitrary position in space. You're measuring the moon from the Earth. It's so you arbitrary. do have sine and cosine incorrect. It's not arbitrary. The moon, the sun, in my description, was at 90 degrees. Which, which That's where mine right. was. Which Inside length the origin. do you have of the triangle triangle? Say again. Which length did you have of your right angled triangle? Why are you asking that? And Riley, why are you agreeing that that's a question that is needs to be asked? It's really getting horrible. Kosho, which which length of the triangle did you have? And what 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 relevance is that here at all? Because I didn't it identifies no relevance the remaining. Here, man. And I don't know why Riley is agreeing that it does. Because if you've got the three values, you can then get the rest. But we want to know which value you've got. Because you've got an angle, you've got a 90 degree. Well, which length have you got? Because that length tells us which one the angle is going to be so that we can prove that you're incorrect. Identify the, the length that you add, please. We're not talking about lengths at all. We're not talking about that in any stretch of you don't understand any conversation. This. Dude, you don't understand this. Yeah, you need okay. either two lengths, two lengths and an angle, or two angles and a length to get your remaining values right. You haven't even described any degree. angle or any shut length. Up, shut, up, shut up. We know we've got a ninety-degree angle. We know that we've got a measured angle from the Earth to the Sun or to the Moon or whatever it is that you're measuring. But we need a length. So which length did you have? And then we can fill in the rest. I so like we weren't measuring length. anything. We were talking about where the cosine and the sine were. Rumpus, what you said earlier, what, what you described earlier, Rumpus, what you described earlier about the sun being at the zero point, this is the, uh, that theta is zero, 
that's not, I, I told him so many times that my theta was on the right side, just like on a unit circle. I put the, the sun at 90 degrees. I mean, you can so the sun that. at 90 degrees. Okay, you again. can do that. Well, I mean, you can do that. Obviously, the natural way to think of it is, uh, given you haven't specified anything, uh, is to go for the internal mm. angle of that triangle you've drawn and to say that the zero is between... Um, yeah, but, uh, but, yeah, but if you just, uh, but if that, you just have it as a stop wrong, diagram... Rumpus. Oh, Jesus, can I finish Rumpus. my sentence? No, I, I know, can I, I know, just sentence? hold up, hold up. Can I just finish hold my up. sentence? Nearly there, five seconds, five seconds. <laughs> so, but normally, if you draw it as a circle, like you've drawn here as a unit, if you didn't have the sun there, then you would default to saying that it's indeed the uh, the, the horizontal dotted line, yes. Tony, Tony, go ahead. The the Earth is represented by the center point, the bullseye. No, and then I can't remember exactly what... Just please, trigonometry. Go, go basics. So, we've got a measured angle from the Earth in the middle. Well, we've got, got a 90 degree. Angle, you've got to have it between oh, something, wait, wait. something else. And you've he, got to define that. Just hold up, hold up, Rampus. He, he's got... Right, well, what we're trying to establish is he didn't identify theta on the actual diagram, but we all knew that the Earth in the middle was the reference point that we were standing on. Now, yeah. whatever he's measuring, he's not, some, he's not measuring an angle from some arbitrary point in space back to Earth. He's measuring it from Earth out towards the target, right? Uh, that yeah, that's what you thought, yeah. That's what, yeah. That, yeah, that puts theta on Earth in the middle. But that yeah. means I mean, this I... cosine is wrongly identified as a sign, and his yeah. sign wrongly identified as cosine. No, no, you yeah. need um, the distance side, don't you, Rumpus? Tell him. In order to yeah. say cosine and sine, you need to know which is the length distance that you are going to use, right? Well, no, you only need the rate, you only need the hypotenuse, and you need to know what direction. So you need to the, know the hypotenuse is. length then. Well, you can call it one. Is it, the, uh, Professor Dom has put one in there for so the length be of the using, hypotenuse. You'd be using tangent then, would you? What are you talking about? Um, the 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 right. So you've got to decide where your zero is. That's basically, and it's natural. If you haven't got anything else defined, then this is a plan view of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. The natural inclination under, is under to your say, feet. Under oh, your can feet. I finish my sentence. The Sorry. natural inclination is to draw a straight line from the center of the Earth to the center of the Sun and say that's my zero angle. So you've got to define that somewhere along the line. And then in this diagram, he's then drawn this hypotenuse, which he's put one next to. And so that would then be um, the side. He's got the sign of the cos around the wrong way. And Anthony's drawn it correctly uh, in his diagram below it at 2229. The only difference is when I did mine, when I was describing this to Riley a long time ago. And when I said it just now, I was imagining a unit circle and I put the sun at 90 degrees instead of at zero. Oh, you were. But I agree with what Rumpus said, but the sun's at 90 degrees. That's it. But the sun's identified at 12 o'clock, is it not? Is that not the sun at the top? Yeah, that's right. At 90 degrees. And so the then it's sun. not... Well, the, the, just the key thing is you've got to decide where your zero, where zero angle is. And if, it, and if you, someone doesn't define it, it's sort of... Not, given the fact we're looking at a plan view to go with what Anthony's drawn. But you, but if someone hasn't defined it, then you can say, well, they need to define it to be absolutely sure what's going on. I mean, the fact they've drawn in cos and sine, if they know what they're doing, it does imply that the angle is not where you've got it, Anthony. I mean, if we say that the guy's competent, then you say, where well, he's put cos and sine. You could derive from that and say, right, okay, because this guy's competent, knows something about trigonometry, then that implies that the angle is relative to the horizontal line we can see here, where it goes you know, when, below the one. So that's obviously what the guy meant. But obviously he's a bit sloppy. If the guy is trying to tell you something about angles and sine of cause, he should have should have put in the theta. So you could argue, well, he's not competent because he didn't put a theta. Uh, but in. hang on. But hang on. So what relevance is the big half moon sun thing that's at the top at twelve o'clock? That big yellow thing. Well, it can be at ninety degrees if they wish to define it like that. But, I mean, there's nothing stopping them making the sun at ninety degrees. Yeah, but the way he's got it drawn there, where is theta? Well, has he's got it gone? The theta is between. The, where you, do you see where you've drawn the theta? Now go the other side yeah. of the red line and to that to the horizontal. It's it's between the your red the red line uh, the, of the triangle and the horizontal line. So it's ninety minus theta. So can you? So, can, so let's talk about the blue dot below in the, the middle. One, as Earth. The one. Where, where the one? Is, in fact, where the one is? Where the one in his diagram at twenty two twenty nine? If you replace that with a theta, that would be correct. Where he's got the one in twenty two twenty nine? If yeah, so the theta, so the internal angle of that little that that yeah that's not what he's drawn though, is it? That's he, we're talking about the other one that's 
not the one that he's got. I don't. All right. Here's an important replace, question, though. Hold on, hold on. If you replace the one with a theta, then the the one that would be absolutely correct. What he's drawn: sine theta and cos theta. If yeah, you but, replace, yeah, but that's not. Okay, but that's not what he's drawn, though. We're trying to interpret because Rumpus. Well, he hasn't drawn me, just... We're just saying if you put if you substituted the letter theta for a one, his diagram would be correct. That's okay, but that's not what he's right. So, no, Rumpus, do me a favor. One, he hasn't drawn in theta. No, just he's just scroll back up to scroll back up to twenty two twenty two. When he okay. first presented this, he said that green line at the top was. He said that that was the cosine, and we were like, "Well, where's the third line?" Yeah, there's no the triangle. Same, yeah, but that's always implied something like this. The implied line is a radius to that's the, the circle. That's so then implied. that was still wouldn't be that still wouldn't be cosine, would it? It'd still be sine. Yeah. yeah. No. If you say, if you say, if he said that was cosine, and I someone said that to me, and I regard them as competent, I would say, okay, what they're implying is that the angle. So, for instance, the latitude. So, for instance, if this was a thing of the Earth, which is not obviously we accept. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, you you nearly finished it. You nearly said it. If if he said that that was cosine, the green line. If that was cosine, where would the sign then be? Well, the sign would be the 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 the, the from the. Oh, let me grab this because it's ridiculous me trying to draw stuff. You can't. Let me take this thing and. Uh, um, uh... Can, can you not just say straight that he's got it wrong? Well, he's. They have the same value. Good. He's left it ambiguous because he hasn't put a theta in there. But if you if you regard the guy yeah, as competent, Rupert, then you he's got a sun at twelve o'clock. Yeah, but the sun. How is that not? Because that can be. He can say. He can say if he wants to that the sun is at ninety degrees. To, to this. But then that he, changes he all the other labels. Degree. He could. He could define the zero of his thing anywhere. He could have it going to but the it, left. It's clearly the, the sun at twelve. Rumpus. It's clearly the sun at twelve o'clock. Yeah, and he can say that that's not zero degrees. He could say that's ninety. <laughs> oh, fuck off! He can't. Oh, my he I did. Can't. I did it's say that. Ridiculous, Rumpus. You can, you can decide whatever the, where the zero angle is. It's entirely zero up to you. Degrees, you yeah, he's got the sun at twelve o'clock, Rumpus. Yes, so he's got the Earth in the middle. Yeah, so the Earth, the sun isn't ninety degrees relevant to this dotted horizontal line. He could define that as what he's talking about. But he, has but he hasn't done though, has he? And we were talking no, about hasn't. it from Earth's no, perspective. No, it's bad. No, whatever it is, it's right. sloppy. So can we not just agree defined. that Kosho's wrong? Why I did say, say that, that to you though, Riley. I told you that where the zero was. I told you the zero's on the right side. I said that. So why the fuck have you got the sun at 12 o'clock then? You're allowed to do that, Anthony. He can put the sun wherever he likes and decide, define where his zero is. But he's got yeah, to state it. Like a, uh, he's got DM to state there. that. When you put in a diagram, you've got to say, state with angle where your zero is. If you haven't, you've been very sloppy. Rumpus, what you're doing is allowing him wiggle room because the sun really fucks him there and you don't want to give it against him because he's got That's a bit all. of wiggle room. You're yeah, crediting you him with the wiggle room. Look, You're crediting Anthony. him with the wiggle room rather than criticising him for yeah, the ambiguity. No, I'm having a go. So this is, this is Professor Dar Domino's diagram, is it? Well, in which case, it's just sloppy. And I would... Yeah, but rather so than criticise the sloppiness, you credited him with the wiggle room, and I'm saying that's not no, fair because the fucking can, sun's at 12 o'clock. Which it can be. Not it's if you're going to have not not when you're talking about theta being Earth in the middle, really? and we're talking about the the measured it's angles. Really Look, Anthony, yet. you could, if you wanted to, say that theta was at forty-five degrees in this diagram. Where? Yeah, but the fucking sun's at twelve o'clock. Why would you? Oh, you would only do that if you were trying to deceive people. No, no, you can. It's arbitrary. No, it's not. You've got. Oh, oh, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. You're not. You don't have. You've never drawn diagrams like this. You don't know what you're talking about. But it's bad what he's done. I'd completely agree that this is very sloppy. You need to define where your zero is, and you need to show where your theta is, and he hasn't done either. So it's a bad yeah, the theta, diagram. The, the theta is the internal angle of that triangle, not the one, the one he hasn't drawn. The one he has drawn. Give no, him context can, of my drawing. You see, because. You can, for instance, if you would, if you were thinking of this as like um, this, this was the Earth from the side view, for instance, the theta angle would be your latitude would indeed be where, um, oh, it's you're, yes, yeah, so you want it twenty two twenty five. So yeah, so where you've drawn it twenty two twenty five, you could draw it like that if you wanted to. If you were thinking of this as being in terms of like a latitude, but because we're looking at a plan view, you could argue that's a, not a, a way you can do yeah. it. So that's it's called a red a... herring. That's not the point we're talking about. So let's not talk about the red herring. Let's talk it's about the mess. fucking elephant I, in the I room. I would say this is a bad diagram, and no one is trying to explain anything, and talking about angles should offer a diagram like this. I know, Rumpus, can I give you some context real quick, just so that... Because uh, what I'm stating 
is not about uh, it's it's not. I'm not trying to describe any angles or trying to describe any lengths. It was a conversation I was having with him about why the um, new moon phase is, uh, is is a longer duration than say the quarter moon phase. And I used the cosine at the time to describe because I was thinking about a unit circle, which would put the sun at the 90 degree position. I was I was describing how the cosine, the change of the cosine um, during that duration of time is much longer. And whenever it's on the side view, that duration of the change in cosine um, is is not it's not really much at all. And that's really what's... Um, who cares? Who cares? It doesn't matter what the argument was back then. What well, we're interested in right now... Why I have that we, were talk, we were taught... The way he's got that drawn and the way we understood the conversation, where I've identified here, that's the angle that we were talking about. Now, if he's going to say, oh, he didn't draw it that way, he's totally inverted the image. Bullshit. He's trying it's to cover for the fact that he's... Bullshit. You, you, I told you it was, show. You you told you was a unit that. circle. I, I said that specific, explicitly. Oh, was. The way you've drawn up. it is not representative of what we were discussing. The entire time, I was talking about a unit circle. A unit so circle. So you haven't drawn it the way that we were talking about it. You've drawn it in a different way that's ambiguous. And rather than say, do you know what? I've got this wrong. You're saying, I'm using the ambiguity to get wiggle room to say that I'm not actually wrong. I'm just not right. Fuck well, off! But it, he's got he's it wrong. He's not you what the zero was. He's trying to talk about the how the duration. In other words, the act. Well, you are trying to talk about angles. The right. angle for for which you will have a new moon, and the angle for which you'll have a quarter moon. Presume is what you're saying. Where is the, the no. angle, Kosho? The angles where I've identified it. I know that's where you put Kosho. Well, where well, if he's trying, is your angle, please? In which well, picture? In your yeah, picture, matter. where, where yeah. is the angle that you are using? Where, right, I just pointed here, and if I put the angle where it says one instead, the cosine is going to be the same in either of those where two it images. Says one. Yeah, that's, there's no triangle there though for you to identify your angles. Yeah, in the I could, I could have done, and the the uh, the, pro, the the sine and the cosine would have been the exact same values. You can have angles outside the triangle. Yeah, I know that. But we're not talking about an angle, angle outside. We're talking about the measured angle from fucking Earth in the middle of the picture, no, no, and he's got the sun above. We're it. talking about a trigonometry, right? So, where is the angle, Kosho, please? Where I've identified here, he's already said. Right, okay. So you've put sine well, I mean, and cosine it, in the wrong what place. What trying to explain? Yeah, correct. Cosine is the to adjacent to the angle. Now sine but is in that the position. The problem is... He's wrong, right? If the problem Rumpus? is, Rumpus knows that it's ambiguous. And rather than say he's wrong, he's Not allowing the ambiguity it's, to cover it's him. absolutely wrong if that's the angle we're talking about, Rumpus, Right. He's yeah. got sine and cosine in the wrong place, right? No, if you, yeah, if you put the angle where it's Rumpus said to put it, which is how you would usually where talk did, about it, this Rumpus say the triangle the there, have you? You haven't drawn your triangle there, have you? You've drawn your triangle on the other one. Sentence. You're a fucking dishonest wanker, Kosho. Fuck off, man. And Rumpus, you should be correcting this guy and putting him straight. Yeah. Not I, allowing him wiggle room. You, you, I don't. The way you're talking, Anthony, you don't really understand how you can have oh, negative rumpus. angles. Oh, rumpus! Come on, the triangle. I, I, for, you to, well, for you to have it on the other side, rumpus, there's got to be a triangle there, and he hasn't drawn one, has he? So he's clearly not on about that there angle. Is an, there is an implied triangle. Where? But there's the not. Is, no, he's, he's got an. This is like the express term straight line, and you're going with the no, implied no. triangle. That's not fucking there. What implied right. triangle? Rumpus. Oh, right. Let me show. Let me show you. Be down, honest, Rumpus. What implied Satan. triangle? Right. Here we go. Let me show you. A, 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 let me share my screen. Oh, Rumpus, please be honest for once no, in your I'm life. Being honest, if you just let me just show you, you'll understand. The express triangle that he's drawn is incorrect because he's got sine and cosine well, the wrong way around. He's left it down. It's sloppy. What about this picture? Let me just. Let me Emma, go. are you following this? Do you see how this is incorrect? Right. Hold on. So look. Yeah, I see. I I do. Right. I see what. So if you look. At, so here we go. So let me just make this. Um, I'm a, I'm amazed that Rumpus won't I'm, deal with the express uh, triangle that he's drawn, it's, and he wants to talk about the implied triangle that isn't even there. You don't understand that implied triangles are done all the time. Let me just show you. Rumpus, yeah, you yeah, Rumpus. I just put he's drawn an implied you triangle. You don't know anything about triangles. Oh, Rumpus. 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 Everybody right. sees what's going on here. 
Why yeah, can't you be twat. honest? I am in the in, so in you, the you, context. You to you, twat. You, in you the can't... context of right, the conversation. So in the context instance... of the whole conversation, even I was following along, right? And I did this at school, and I enjoyed it, and I refreshed. I had a quick look, and even I agreed that Kosho and what he was describing, he had them round the wrong way. Okay, that's right. that was it. Look, so everything, instance, everything it's else is just a reasonable. Sorry, Carol. Conflating the issue. No, it was just yeah, me. I just wanted doing. your opinion on right. that part. It that is thought. standard practice. Rumpus, so just... Don't start drawing something different. Please. <laughs> I'm about to shit. Let me know. Where's the symbol for thing? I'm going to call it A, unfortunately. I haven't got. No. Theta rumpus. Theta. Right. 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 So, for instance, rumpus. it's absolutely it's normal. Rumpus. It's absolutely look, normal. guys. Keep it the same. Oh. Right, look, look this is what Rumpus is want. This yeah. is what this dickhead theory that Rumpus wants to talk about. <laughs> right, this implied so triangle that doesn't exist. That's it's what it's Rumpus it. wants to talk right. about. So that's instance, not what's diagram, drawn, though, is it? Right. This diagram I've just drawn here yeah. is typical as a typical thing you might draw. Yeah, and you would then say, uh, if you you would then say, right, the let me just draw from here to here, and make that different color, and do the same from here to here. And that's what you would tend to draw if you're doing sort of geometry. Does that look anything oh. like Kosho's thing? No, I've added in more. No, I have added in more detail. Yeah, well, but why this, are you doing hold that? On. Because, right. So, in other words, you can. Um, uh, that is the uh, a typical way you would construct of a moving object around a circle. You would that is the typical way you would draw it. If you have this moving around a circle, you would define your zero along the horizontal and then there's Co an implied so sign. Uh, this is what it's about, Rumpus. Right, so 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 here, okay, so this thing here would be um cos A and this is cos so we'll call actually I'll call that B just so there's not gonna be confusion. Where's right, your angle? The, implied the angles implied. are letter B and A, you twat. Can't you see that? The angle you, is at okay, B. The, uh, let me draw, okay. Let me draw in for you explicitly, so you don't get confused. I mean, is it right? Here we go. Angle B. Yeah. Is this angle here? I will put it in dotted lines so you can see that. So that's angle B, and then angle A is this angle here. Let me just twiddle it a little bit. Oh God. Right. So that would be a typical way of drawing. So um, uh, you would then you would you would um, so although that you depends where you decide to draw the triangle, you can draw the triangle with one end meeting on this vertical or the horizontal. Well, where so has he drawn a... the triangle? Where well, has he drawn it? Well, he has drawn the edges there. Yes. So right, that's so which and is the angle then? So it's the internal the side, angle, isn't it? Not the so external. The, so, so the sides that he drew, the only indicators he put on there was this one, like, this line up here. Mm -hmm. And the line here. So yeah. I would agree. The implication was that it was this angle here, not this angle Where's this way. Where's the picture way. at right now? I want to see too. Yeah. Um, so would that mean that you've put cos in the wrong place, Rumpus, right? Yeah, I mean, he's... The, let's have like a you as well, not again. just he's, you. You've put cos up there well, as no, well, haven't you? I, yeah. You've, you've, can you see where I've defined B? Yeah. yeah but that's not where he defined that, that's, it. That's not the adjacent... To the cos, is it? So that's not the angle right. he's talking right, about, is it? Right, here we go. I'm going to explain it to you. Can you, this, if you have this as the length, and we call that one, this length here, and I know you don't understand anything like geometry, Bev, but I'm going to have to explain <laughs> you. This angle here. Yeah, you're twat. Right, here we go. Do you understand that this distance here in my diagram, here, that distance that I've drawn there is cos... B, do you understand that? <laughs> Rumpus, do me a favour. Right, no, no, before we get into that, I just want to get from Bev. Do you understand that the distance I've drawn here, which is the same as the one up there, is cos B? Do you understand that? It's cos, yeah, because it's cosine of the so angle B. It's the adjacent the to the so angle at B. Are you agreeing that this line here that I've drawn 
is Cosby. That's yeah, that's why you you've labelled it Cosby line? because it is Do you the understand adjacent that same line? Do you understand that this line? Do you angle. understand that this oh line is the same as this <laughs> line up here? You twat. <laughs> Do you understand <laughs> that this? Hold on. Do you understand that this line here is the same? Oh, sodding thing. It's the same as this. Is this line They're here? Perpendicular These two lines. Are they? Right angles, right? Yeah, but where's your right angles? You're going to have to on, identify. Hold on. Hold on. We, before we get into that, I want to dis- right. Do you understand that this line, where I've marked, put an arrow here, is the same line as this one here? These two are the same length. Do you understand that? Yeah, they are measured distance, then, Rumpus, are they? Try again. Do you accept that these two lines are of the same length here are they, and here? Them two lines parallel. And they are 90 degrees, are they? You could see from my diagram they are, you twat. If you understood anything about geometry, you, you could... I, this I is can't why see you any got, right angles there, Rumpus. They just look like because lines at the minute. You twat. You twat. Yeah, that's why I asked for the right angles. Yeah, yeah. Put the right, right angles okay. in. I'll tell you, here we go. So did you not... So you don't understand from this diagram that there's an implied 90 degrees here then? You don't understand that. Is that yeah, correct? But, hang on. Now you put that in. Off. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah, yeah. Right, but hang on, given that you're saying that it's an implied, oh. this is the whole point, because we were talking about the express triangle that was drawn, not the implied dry- external angle that was not drawn. We wanted the express triangle that was drawn, Rumpus. When someone draws a diagram... He obviously with something... knows Shut Kosho up, was twat. wrong. Shut up, twat. Right? And when knows, someone... Everybody now knows, knows that Kosho was wrong. When someone, draws, when someone draws something like that line there... And then you just put a chord in here. It is implicit in what you're saying. If anybody's done any geometry or maths, that these are right angles. So the fact that Bev has to have it explained to him means just well, he's a twat and a moron. We know that. What? No, it's, 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 that right it's implied. Angle. Anybody who does any geometry Rumpus. in any competent fashion knows that that's implied. Rumpus. Yeah, but it's also implied that when you've put in the angle in from the earth being in the middle, the bullseye, and you're looking out to the sun at 12 o'clock, it's implied that the angle that you're measuring will be the one from fucking earth. Well, it, it is I, implied. I mean, I mean, I would agree. If Looking at the diagram again at 22, 29... He has drawn in the dash. Well, he hasn't. Draw, he hasn't actually drawn in. He's only drawn in the dashes for the coordinates. He hasn't actually implied. So he's wrong. Uh, no, he's left. And um, the two look. He's got two dashed lines. He has not put in the angle. He has not. Uh, he's only put in the hypotenuse of the triangle. He hasn't implied really where his theta is. Although so because we're doing wrong. it, just admit it's a pile of pig shit. Why can't you, you just be honest and say it's wrong? Because it's ambiguous. You can't say something's wrong that's ambiguous. It'd be ambiguous. It's expressly drawn a triangle. Oh, my God. I told you exactly exactly where the zero was, Riley. Yeah. Hey, Rumpus. Rumpus, did did he get it right, Rumpus? He didn't do a good job, but he didn't necessarily get it wrong. No, no, that's that's not good enough. That's not good enough. The internal angle was drawn... And you're saying that the end... Hold, hold, ex- ex- inter- hold on, hold on. Where's the internal angle drawn? Where's the internal angle drawn? Because There's he's no drawn an angle. express... Go, go back to the image <laughs> that we're talking about. Put the image yeah. so we can see it. So let me go and get his image. Okay, let me go. Let me copy yeah, put this. put it on stuff. screen so we can talk, on, on, talk on, our yeah, way okay, through okay, it. Give me, a go. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Let me just go and screen grab it. So let me say that when I drew that, when I drew that um, line for the one, the picture I drew before that didn't have that line. And the only reason yeah, I drew that is arguing at that point about the where the cosine and the sine was. Purpose. Okay, hold on. Give me a moment. Jesus. I would have drawn that triangle anyway if I wasn't trying to tell you where the sign was. Oh, bloody copied the bloody... Hold on. Give me, give me a second. Okay, so can we agree... Can we agree, Rumpus, between you and I, that he's got an expressed triangle drawn, yeah? Well, he's got... The only thing that's drawn... Well, he's drawn... He, the only... Is He's there an express the... triangle, yes or no? He hasn't particularly... No, he hasn't put an explicit triangle in here. No, all he's done... He, at, he all, has. The only, thing I, the only thing... No, he hasn't, because these dotted lines here are clearly the coordinates. The only thing... Right, I'm not on the is... dotted lines. I'm on about the green line. I'm on about the hypotenuse. And I'm on about the vertical line that's adjacent to the ah, sorry, dotted you're, you're white line. Right. Yes, sorry, he has actually drawn... Yes, sorry, he has Thank actually you. drawn a grey, grey line Given here. Given the Earth is the bullseye of the middle of the circle, the theta, because we're on Earth is where the Earth is. Can you agree with that or not? 
Well, the th it depends where you decide. I mean, he has implied. He has okay. by. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, by putting the, in this extra grey line. Like, hold, on, hold, on, the... hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to support you a little bit here, Anthony. This little grey line he's drawn here does imply <laughs> that that's the. You. Hold on. <laughs> the triangle. It, it, it does suggest that he's drawn oh, that in as an adjacent. So, right. but but here's the bit that's the killer. He hasn't drawn the other triangle for the external angle, has he? That you're wanting to credit him for being ambiguous with. You can't do that as a geometry anyway. You can't. No, he hasn't. You can't, can't get it a right angle no, over there. Oh, that's the only thing again. I'd had. I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten he'd drawn in the grey line. You see, he he didn't put the grey line. If he put a grey line here, then yes, the fact that he's put a grey line there does imply that it's more that this is wrong. Yes. Thank you. Are you saying you didn't see the grey line, the vertical grey line? No, I didn't. No, I must have. It's only when I looked at it again, I'd forgotten that it was. I freaking lost hair on this. Okay, so well, basically, I, I, I fixed the picture for you, Riley, in which the triangle oh, is right there. It's still the it. same cosine and it's still the same you sign. Were wrong. So. Yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. wrong. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, it's it, if it's wrong, if you don't have the right context. I told you the context. I told you it was a unit uh, circle. He, he already what? said you were the twelve. Yeah, it's wrong, Kosho, and you won't admit it, and you still won't admit it. You just want <laughs> Robert to say that I'm wrong, dude, but he said explicitly it matters It matters where you put the zero. I told you where the zero was. Yeah, if he decided that you're wrong, if he told you, if he said to you that the zero is along this dotted line underneath the one, he told you that, not to put it in the diagram, he then he's correct. He didn't say where. He didn't say oh, hang where. On, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's got the zero. Hold on, let me just make this clear. If he told you verbally that the zero angle was along this horizontal, on this dotted line, underneath the one, and he told you that verbally, then he is correct. Right. So the, what, he's got what is, he's got, from... Hang on, he's got the Go big ahead. massive Go. sun at 12 o'clock, and we were working right. from the context that Earth was the bullseye, and the sun being the top at 12 o'clock would be your zero, right? Now, oh, if well, he did say Nobody stated that. Right. Okay, if you yeah, said but, that, yeah, but if I you said remember. the opposite, then you're being deceptive, because stated you're telling that, the opposite right, of what your diagram shows. Every time I explain this to you, I told you in reference to the unit circle, in reference to the right side, where the, where the moon is on the right side, that being the zero degree point. So then you're being deceptive, because time. you've got a big fucking sun at 12 o'clock. Go ahead, Riley. All right. <laughs> Love these pregnant pauses. Love them. They're pregnant, bro. <laughs> I mean, this is... Why can't I you just admit you that you're wrong, Kosho? I told you every single time. I'm going to do it when you're wrong. wrong. I told you in reference to the unit circle every single time. When I draw these diagrams, I make the unit circle so the right is the zero. If I need to do it a different way, I'll do that. It's not deceptive at all, Riley. It is, because the sun's at 12 o'clock, dickhead. If he told you explicitly that zero... Was no, we, we were point. looking from the earth... But he may not put that diagram. He may have put a grey line there to... But if he explicitly said to you that zero is horizontal in this diagram, then he's correct. Right. No. I don't remember him ever saying that. He well, may or may not have said it. However, he's got a big fucking sun at 12 o'clock that is effectively the zero point. No, it's not. If he defines zero yes, angle to the right... No, it okay, isn't. So Anthony, why you, is the sun there, then? We can put it at 90 degrees if you want to. It's allowed. Why is the sun, yeah, why is the sun where it is? That's allowed. It's perfectly, perfectly acceptable. Right, right. I tell does you. Anybody I remember like, Kosho if I were drawing this diagram, value? Does it, I, hang on. I, does anybody ever remember Kosho ever saying the words? He may have said it. I don't I, remember. Did I tell you where the x-axis was and the y-axis was? I don't remember you saying that yeah, the zero. Yeah, 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 don't be mad. Yeah. Now you're fine. I, I, I agree. It doesn't matter. He's got the big fucking sun there to give you the clue. No, no, yeah, no, so no, he's, no. Basically, he's admit, he's no. rather he'd rather admit to being dishonest than he would that he's wrong. Well, if he explicitly told you that zero was horizontal here, then he's correct. I don't remember him no, saying no. that, and if well, he did say that, right. it's well, directly contradictory to his letter, his his diagram. Well, but, but, hold on, but what, but, Dom, but, about but clearly, Kosho does know. But Kosho does recognise that, it, and he's telling you now, presumably, if he's considering zeros along the horizontal, and he's correct. So surely, if I'm, that's what he means, that's, hang on, he doesn't hang on. That can't be true, Rumpus. It can't be true because if it was true, there would be an expressed triangle drawn. The where the the green line that's horizontal would appear as a green line vertical, and he hasn't got that, has he? So he can't that's have said that. Well, right. that's why I drew my diagram to say you don't actually need to right, do can that. Can I it just interject a second here? Because this is trigonometry, right? And it's the relationship between a triangle, its angles, and its sides. 
My right. God, Bev, we all know this. You're, you're, right, okay. You wait, 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 wait. Rumpus, 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 shut, shut up. up. Right? So this specifically, if you're using this as a trigonomic function, if you have a right angle triangle and you know one angle, then you can work the other one out, right? So the angles, forget oh, about the angles. Lengths. All we've got... Oh, you've got two lengths. Do you what? think you're talking to primary school children? Or yeah, something? okay. So then, you've well, only got one angle, two lengths. Right. So you, you know, you can work out if you can work out the angles of the triangle. Mm. Then the only thing you've got left is the relationship between the angle and the side to work out one of the other sides that you need to work out. Right. Yes, that was all implied in what I did. I mean, right. So been, that is why a, Rumpus, shut the fuck up. That, one plus one is equal to two. that is why you use the angle and the side that you know, right? And you want yes, to know the did. other side, and then you yes, have that's to what use. I did my I mean, the you clearly cosine you, you, all the well side. Bev, you're well behind everybody else. You're just starting on this journey. No, I'm trying to work away. out. Rumpus, shut the fuck up. You are a Shut moron. Shut the you fuck up! Country. Yeah, you're a moron. You, 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 no, you you're being a you moron, win. Rumpus. You are saying no. one plus one is equal to the rest of us have moved on. Right, no, there is a, no, there is a relationship in trigonometry between the you're angle not, and the side. Of course it is. That's what I'm right, So which track. angle you, you, and which side is implied? Then we will find out where the cosine and where the sine yeah. is. Yes, yeah. and we've been laughing for half an hour. It's a very fucking simple thing, but yeah, you you're talking about been fucking horizontal, that. you We prick. have been debating that very point for last half an hour, and uh, Kosho so said... So which side and listen. which angle? Very easy yes, to sort it, out, Rumpus. It's a fucking Kosho triangle. Claims, and Kosho claims that the zero is on the horizontal. But it's not specified in the diagram. What's zero? Fact, where the origin of the angle is, you twat. No, no, which angle? You've got a right He's angle triangle. There's two on the is, fucking angles. Where does one, which one? Where the, in his diagram at 2229, or the diagram that I've copied, he is claiming that where he's put the level, the 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 thing one, he's claiming that's where his angle lives. As in, my, I've drawn in my diagram A and B. Put his he's angle claiming at that one. where I put A and B in that diagram oh at twenty-two, yes, twenty-three, twenty-three. Claiming. He's claiming that yes, angle at put, one is a right yes. angle, isn't it? No, well, I'm saying, look at my diagram. If you could look at my stream. No, I'm looking at Kosho's because that's what yeah. we're dealing and with. Included, and I've included no, I'm not Kosho's looking at yours. Diagram. I'm looking at Kosho's. Kosho. Kosho. I've included Kosho. Kosho. Diagram which in which my angle diagram. are we dealing with and which side are we dealing with? Come on. Tell us the angle. Posted, I reposted the picture with the, the triangle in which you would use that angle. So. Which one's that? It's like where, the one I posted where's that, that has both the two triangles. It, where you with the same cosines and the same signs. 23, 23? That's right. Right, so that That's angle at one. Right there. What, it, what is the angle at one? Is that a right angle triangle? And is that angle where the one is are meant to be a right angle? Is that the particular question. triangle and the particular angle? Well, see, I wasn't talking about with. I wasn't talking about triangles. Okay, you I was talking were, about the. You were talking position. about cosine and sine. Bev, 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 I know you're yelling with rumpus, but you don't have to yell. You don't have to yell. Okay, let me yeah, say what I'm saying, not, please. Yeah, wait, wait, the original wait, wait, picture I drew done. didn't have a triangle he in it. Wasn't done. Hold on, he hold on, done. please, hold on. The original picture I drew didn't have a triangle. The only reason, hold on, please. The only reason I drew the radius and then the triangles and then the that side and that side was because I was just trying to identify where each thing was because you said that wasn't the cosine. You were using okay? And and so when I did that, when I did that, cosine for? Wait, hold on, please, Bev. When I did that, if I wanted to show it the other way, like the second triangle I drew, it would have the same sign, the same cosine, and it would look um, it would look the way that where the angle on the internal part of that side would give you that. And so in that way, I probably I messed up when I drew that um, that sign. Yeah, I should have yeah. drew the sign on the other yeah, side, yeah. but it, it it gives you the same values. Right, trigonometry, right? Hold on, Trig hold on, Bev. Kosho, you're dot. You're, you're, this is the reposting at twenty three twenty. Is it you're talking? Yes, about? right. Because you haven't actually drawn in the the angle again, have you? Yeah, I drew the the angle this time is on. Uh, I mean, the, the angle yeah. is the same angle, but it's on the, the inside. Yeah, you haven't drawn it in the diagram. 
I didn't, yeah, I didn't draw it in the diagram. That's right. But um, I'm not, I, was, I wasn't worried about the angle, but they... Yeah, yeah but if you put in yeah. cos and sines, you really ought to put the angle that they're based on. So you he really, should you really be right. talking about yeah. triangles yeah. as well, right, Rumpus? Could I just finish my sentence? So really, when you post at 23, 20, 23, you knew there's a problem. You really ought to put where the angle is again. And you haven't done it again. I'm putting it in now. And it is triangles, <laughs> right? If you're using cosine... Bev doesn't understand. I mean, I've drawn it in my diagram. I don't understand what, at. Rumpus? Everything. Ah. You're more. Do, do okay, the so trigonometry, didn't right? Get it right? Yeah, you don't understand trigonometry. You, you didn't understand. Trigonometry instance, is to do yeah. with triangles, though, right? Yes. Uh, right. You Tell Kosho. Tell Kosho you keep, that it's to do on, with fucking triangles. They're right? implied triangles, you moron. If you understood geometry, you'd realise they're implied triangles. Oh, so Kosho didn't know that they were implied triangles then. He just oh, he thought it was know. a That's line he could call, label yeah, no, cos. It's quite obvious he did know that. Otherwise, he wouldn't have put cos and sign there. No, he just said he, he he's done. not dealing with triangles. Well he, he, well, he must know that because he's putting cos and signs. And, you only get <laughs> and he doesn't. Or he's got it the wrong he way does. round and won't concede. Well, he no, but he well, he now now unfortunately he's now going to put in the angle where well, hopefully he's going to post it now with the angle where he uh, should have put he, it. Yeah, you feeding him. Yeah, but he is well, no. totally changed in the diagram now, though. That's not what we were talking about in the first place. It is what we were talking about, Riley. <laughs> it isn't where the yeah, cosine was. I, I, I reposted it back up there, Ryder. Correct. Red man is correct. That's so, yeah. That those va those are the same things. Those lines are the same. Whether signs on that side or that side, it's the same. It's the same value. Yes, it is. Uh, uh, Rumpus, hold on, hold on. Rumpus, look at that picture. This is the one, one posted by Prof Redman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the to the left. Has he got that's a right angle triangle there? Sorry, right, right. Hold on. Can I just establish? Are you talking about the things just being posted by Prof Redman at twenty three thirty four? Is that what you're talking about? The yeah. Diagram. Yeah. Correct. Right. Yeah. To the left. That's Co Show. To the right. right and that was Riley. Yeah. From the earth. <laughs> yeah, and I've copied and I've copied that diagram. That's if you look at my stream, I've copied the diagram uh -oh. on the left. What's right or what's wrong? Hello? So say again, what's the question? I said what's right. Which one is right and which one is wrong? Well, if it from goes the... show hold on, no, listen, no, no. Oh, from the listen earth. I'm gonna give you my answer this is what and we're I would say about you twat. Oh my god, just listen, you moron. <laughs> if still Kosho, hasn't labeled if, right if, angles. If Kosho, if Kosho explicitly said that the angle was where the one is, or to the horizontal, which he claims to have done, then his diagram is correct. But he didn't put that in the diagram. He hasn't put that in the diagram. He didn't put that in the diagram. He hasn't drawn a triangle to represent that. You don't need listen. to. You don't need Rumpus, to. Listen, listen. If no, he said that there's a value. Tony, trust me. Trust me. So, what I'm asking you, he finally put the triangle in this diagram. Is this right or wrong? Who's right? We're again Who's talking wrong? about the diagram That's 2334. Yes. What I just posted, please. So, which part? You're talking about the left, the one he posted on the left? From, the, yes. from Earth, looking at the moon. This is the diagram yeah, and, that we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, and if he explicitly said that zero no, was the horizontal no, to the triangle, you, then the diagram is correct. But it, obviously no, he should have put that in the Rumpus, diagram. Because he's drawn the triangle in. He's put the third line in. Yeah, he has, but he can still do that and still say the angle is measured because you can have negative, you can have angles oh, external angles think, as well. Yeah, Rumpus, for him to be correct, he would need to have drawn the triangle the other way round, and he hasn't done. He's drawn well, the triangle expressly the other way. That, yeah, but you don't need to do that. And people who draw these things don't. Yeah, of course you do. Otherwise, you've no, got an internal, an external angle the wrong yeah, way around. But people who do this, like in my diagram I've just drawn here, for instance, you don't always put in all the sides of the triangle because when you Fuck off. Are... you fucking do? Otherwise, it's not a triangle. You because it's implied, with particularly with a circle, you don't necessarily draw the triangle because uh, you just okay, do what so I've that, done in that, this diagram. But but so I'm, that would but, mean then. That would mean then that what I would call the external angle is actually the internal angle, and what you would call the internal angle, I would call the external angle. If he explicitly said that the horizontal was the zero, <laughs> then he's correct in what he's drawn. But yes, Can the diagram. The point? But the Can diagram. Wait, wait, wait. But the I, diagram I, I question, does imply the, the hold on. The diagram he has provided does imply the opposite. 
So if you just took the diagram, you would think it's wrong. But if he it doesn't imply the, the opposite, it expressly states the opposite because he's drawn the triangle the wrong way round for his yeah, position. Yeah, I, mean, I agree. It does imply, but he still you could still do that and still say, but the angle I'm referring to is actually where the one is. It's kind of like reference range. But uh, so because he's left. Well, if he was, if he was, he would expressly have to put theta theta in, wouldn't he? He should have put theta in. Yeah, that's the problem. He, he's sloppy. He should have put so, right so angles in as well, shouldn't he? Was he wrong? You keep on saying this, Beth, but you don't seem to understand. He hasn't that put a right angle listen, in listen, listen, anywhere. Listen, listen, the right angle is implied in the do oh. in his one. Where, off, Rob, where the green, you've implied where everything. The green line, you don't understand. You don't. You've clearly never done any geometry in your life. Where <laughs> he has drawn, where he has drawn you've the green line. You've just implied a triangle, listen, and now you're implying it, right angles. Listen, where they're not marked. Where, where he's got the green line meeting the dotted vertical line, there is an implied right angle there. And if you don't know <laughs> that, then you then you clearly have done nothing. Even at young yeah, things rumpus, in school. Rumpus. We've seen you, we've young seen an example in school. <laughs> Hang on, we've right seen an example where you've right. gone with implied before when it said straight lines. You said that that implied curve lines and we said no. no i've never said that i've never said <laughs> no, in this instance he's drawn an expressed triangle and there's no implied triangle he's drawn an expressed one and you're just going with the implied one because you know that the expressed one fucks him off it shoots him in the no, foot i've agreed and you with you anthony i've agreed with you so what can't you just say that it's this, wrong this because he hasn't put the feet and you can actually get away with what he's done it is not impossible no, you can't but I would Come say, on, he's drawn the express triangle with the internal angle. angle. But if he explicitly told you verbally that the zero is hot, then his diagram is correct. Although the diagram in itself, just by itself, is, you could argue, is more wrong than right. <laughs> it's no one near right. If he explicitly wrong. told you that it's zero <laughs> degrees was <laughs> horizontal. Rumpus, so, 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 so it's like, two wrong questions. than right. Is that not? Wrong. Yeah, without yeah. my context, it would be it'd be more wrong than right. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that yeah, yeah. I've given you guys context. I, that's why I don't understand why you're saying I didn't oh, do that. You made your I told you where the X was. I told you where the Y was. I told you where the zero was. Gents, let, let me ask Rumpus two questions and then I'm out. Okay, two questions and the yes no answers. Rumpus, did he yes or no? <laughs> did, did he draw an express triangle? Yes or no? Uh, well, he didn't draw the grey yeah, thing. I told you actually, you wouldn't get your yes, no. He actually no, draw, no, he hasn't actually drawn a full, an ex, a, a pure triangle. He because he's got, the one is the green line, and the only drawn the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So he hasn't actually done so, although it's implied. He has this rumpus. There's three lines there that create a triangle. Expressed lines that create a triangle. So the answer is yes, he did. I was trying to point out where the where the sign was, where the sure. cosine was, and where the radius was. Sure. Sure. I mean, the answer yeah. to the question I asked is, yes, he did draw an express no, triangle. Drawn, no, he's not drawn something of the same colour in the form of a triangle anywhere on there. No, he's, he's drawn the green line and he's identified it as one or the other, cosine or well, sine, it doesn't matter which. He's drawn a green line. He had the he had the grey line vertical, not the dotted line, the grey line. Yeah. And we yeah. asked him to draw the third line in. He then drew the diagonal in. There's three expressed no, lines. I only drew the cosine. I only drew the cosine and then I drew the other line to identify where they were. That's all I did. I drew the line for the cosine, then you said, oh, this is the radius, and I was like, what are you talking about? So I drew where the radius was, and I drew where the sine was. That's all I did. Hang on. I'm on about, not not instantly, because the first time you did it, you only drew one line. Exactly. There's no the cosine. There. Right. The and you can draw, you can draw you the cosine it. there at the top, or you can draw it along the bottom line. It's more no, difficult stop. to draw it along the bottom line, so I drew it at the top. Oh, please stop talking. When you first presented it, you had one green line. We asked you to draw the other lines, line or lines. You came back with three lines. There's a vertical grey line that's not in the first picture, and there's a diagonal grey line that's not in the first picture. We've got three lines to an expressed triangle, yes or no? Yes, uh, the yes, there's three lines, and the reason I was Correct. identifying them. I can identify right. them on either side. So the answer is yes. Now, is the angle that we're talking about the internal angle of the expressed triangle, or is it the external? Is it we the internal talking angle, about yes angle or no? Is it the internal angle, yes or no? The, oh, by the way, you need to be careful what you mean by an external angle because it's not what you think. It, the, the, what the angle of the triangle in question, is it yes. the internal angle of the triangle, yes or no? Well, as I say, the diagram does imply, if you just go by the diagram, it is incorrect. If you try and imply right. 
If, so if, why can't you just say that and say it's, it's wrong? Ambi- it's ambiguous. It's, it's not, not ambiguous. Not. All you're doing is relying on his lack of identification of theta as saying well, that now is, is ambiguous. But it's, it's still ambiguous. the express. It's, rump, it's, it's the express. Rumpus, listen. It's the express triangle, and it's the internal angle that we're talking about. And he knew that, know, and we all knew that. Actually, you don't know that that's the angle he's referring to. He could have been referring. It is. To it is because the, Earth. Yeah, we're on Earth, Rumpus. It's drawn in the picture. That's got nothing okay. to do with the diagram, whether we're on Earth or not. It yeah, does. But... The, blue, the blue dot represents us on Earth. Yeah, our point is, the point is, the point he's trying to make is he knows what he's trying to make. And so if you just ask him to qualify and tell you what he meant, and, and then he went new angles, he would do so and presumably then make his point. So he's been very sloppy. I would agree with that. And, and, and no, he's, he's just, just wrong. Rump, it's not sloppy. So wrong. So if he explicitly told you that zero is horizontal, then his diagram is correct. Right, and nobody can say cer- with certainty whether he did or didn't, right? Well, yeah, he may have done, he may not have done. Yeah, well, that's why right? it's ambiguous. Well, right, how many times, how many times can I tell you that this is, uh, this is just like a unit circle where the X is horizontal because, and the Y is vertical? Because, I said that several well, times. Well, several, well, several, several times. Dick, dick dick angle. Angle. You're, you're, listen, Rumpus, listen. Oh, you're oh, relying oh, on dick angle because he's not identified theta. When you talk about a unit circle, it is traditional to have the zero at the horizontal where he's saying he wanted to put it. That is where you normally put zero for these sorts yeah, of Yeah, but Rumpus, the problem is he hasn't got a triangle there to create the triangle at, 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 at the zero that he claims that he was referencing. Yep. Okay, look, one, one more thing. One more thing that I need to add, Come just to, 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 because you keep saying where I drew a triangle. As I said, as I said, Come one on, thing. On, hold on, hold on, guys. You guys have been talking about me. I haven't said anything. So the yeah, one yeah, thing, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah hold on, Redman. The, the one thing that I um, did was I drew that cosine, and then when you guys um, were saying the radius was this and the sine was this, I was identifying where they were. And from my from my perspective, whenever you're identifying the sine, it's much easier to draw it on that side that's along that vertical line than to draw it below that so other side. It's much lines, easier to do. That's that's the way I did why it. Why did that's you not label the other lines? Why did you not label the other radius then? I did. I, I labeled all three. I said the sine, the cosine, and the radius. No, the other radius. The dotted line, the other dotted line, the horizontal line. Why would I, why would I identify that as a radius? That's to, not the, to, uh, the point. To, to, the point is that corner point in the top right corner. Okay? Yeah, but you've identified the wrong fucking lines. If you're going to rely on the other angle, dick angle, the one I've got identified as dick angle, you need to have A, an express triangle, and you need to have B, that, that horizontal, that radius, that dotted white line, that's got to be labelled as something. Otherwise, you're just fucking lying. Yeah, he just said it. That was sloppy. If I was giving this to somebody to turn in for homework or something, then it's sloppy. I didn't identify what the lines were. But I told you explicitly it's in reference to a unit circle. So if yeah, it was homework, exist, how would it get marked? Triangle, did you? No, that's the Benny Dick thing. Dick angle, yeah. Dick angle doesn't uh, exist. Uh, you didn't uh, draw uh, the triangle. Anthony, and if for it, primary school children... If it was homework, it would get marked as wrong. He's got no right angles no. either, so the, the whole trigonometry thing is screwed. Like, I don't know what you're doing. I know you don't know what we're doing because you're stupid. And you're You've no, got no, shut you up. Got no right right you are a moron. Right, so Anthony, the point is, and no, for, pro- for, prim- for primary school children, you would indeed say you have to draw the triangle. When you do something more developed, you don't necessarily draw the triangle. Oh, stop the oh, you 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 Everybody you... sees that he's wrong, and everybody sees you defending him on an ambiguity no, no, rather than saying... criticise the falseness no, that I'm he's created. Just... I, there are two but reasons boys, why you might boys. be right. One, it is normal to define with a circle, unit circle like this the angle to be yeah, right. right. And two, Let me ask you this way. Second, second yeah. point, he explicitly told you that. Now, so, I so he says, so he says, right. listen, if there were five marks for, for illustrate or for labeling these this diagram, if there were five marks, right, he would only get one. And the one that he would get would be what the radius, the dotted white line. All the other marks would be wrong. Yeah, this is well, not actually, homework, though. This was me yeah. explaining to you why, this, why the new moon phase <laughs> lasts longer than the quarter moon wrong. phase. So it's explaining not homework. Explaining it wrong. You would have got one out of five because you got the radius wrong. right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, he wouldn't have got many, many marks for this diagram. That's that's true. He'd have got the fucking it's radius. That's not homework, though. Line. Right, Riley. Exactly. Wrong. But, but Anthony, when have you ever presented a diagram like this? I mean, he presumably did this quickly and casually, and he's not done... No, not, it wasn't No, no, he Hold said on. he'd save well, this from ages no, ago. I, I just he made this. Rumpus, listen. Rumpus, no, you can't criticise my dick angle. My dick angle diagram is wicked. 
I mean, you 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 have made it clear which angles which. Yes, yours is explicit, so that's that's good. Yes. Yeah, you can. So when you said when you have a plan for the diagram like this, and right now, and, and he should have done the same. I agree. So he's sloppy yeah. and ambiguous. And Dick Angle would have actually got Bro. full marks if it was five marks because everything's correctly labelled. Yeah, but the pictures that you posted, you got from online. So if I had pulled the picture from online, like the ones I pulled from online, the angles would have been in right. there. So again, but no. I did tell you explicitly did you that it's I've created Dick Angle there. I've created that. This isn't even about me. This is about your incorrectly labelled and wrong diagram. Yeah, but he did this casually, but you need very quickly for you just to make the. No, he didn't. He actually got it refined because we asked him to go away and draw the triangle in because he only put one line of the triangle and started labeling stuff like yeah. verbally. And we were like, I wasn't, no, you didn't ask me to draw a triangle. What happened was I showed you the cosine and then Bev said that was the radius. And so I said, what I the fuck? Sorry. And so I drew where the radius was I and I drew where the sign radius. was. No, no, no. I said, where's the fucking triangle? Exactly. And that's why if you look at the first diagram that he presented, there's only one green line and that's supposed to represent a triangle. So we asked him to go it's away. It's supposed to represent other, a triangle. It's supposed to represent a cosine. Yeah. But put the other lines in so that we know what you're talking about. And you came back and you added two additional lines. One was a vertical gray line. The other one was a diagonal gray you line. And you guys then identified we can the lines correctly. So I, I told you where the lines were. That's what happened. You guys said the, I, I, somebody I said that was the radius. It may not have been Bev, but somebody I said that that green line was the radius. So we can talk. Green it's really simple. You, the, the first one you presented had one line of a triangle, right? So we asked you to go away and do it properly. So it you came one line of a triangle. It. it was one line of a cosine that's on that on that unit circle. That's right. what it is. All right. So, so we're going to have to go over this again, aren't we? Because you're clearly not going to concede this there again. There it is right there. Right. But surely the, the important point is whether or not he's correct in saying why a new moon takes longer than the uh, quarter no, moon. No, 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 no. Cosine. Rubbish, rubbish. Cosine rumpus. Is that yeah, green it's... line a cosine? What's he talking about when he says that? It is that? a cosine. It is a cosine. If Look at the original. Says, if you let, let me finish my sentence. It is no, no, the no. cosine. No, no, no. Look shut at what up. we're looking at. You're answering a question. It is the cosine. Hey, if... he... Oh, shut up, you twat. I'll try to answer a question. If it hey. is the cosine, if you accept what he said to you was that zero degrees was horizontal on the dashed horizontal line. That was but it's the thing, though, Rumpus. When he goes away and he then comes back and draws the extra two lines in, then that zero point cannot be the one he claims because he's drew the triangle in the wrong place. Well, you, when you get to do this in a mature and a developed sense, you don't necessarily draw the... Ex the triangle so... explicitly. He, he, did, he did do Rumpus. He did draw the express lines in. Well, he did, yeah. I mean, he drew that other grey line in, but it, still, even then, you can still do that and still mean what he's done and still have the angle in the separate place. Oh, so... Whoa, whoa. All I was doing was identifying where the sign was. Stop, stop. That means then that you're changing the internal angle that's identified by the expressed angle, uh, triangle to make that into the external angle of a, a triangle that he hasn't drawn. That's I wasn't worried about the angle. When I, if I was worried about the angle when I drew this, I would have drawn it differently. I was just worried about showing you where the <laughs> cosine was, where the sine was, and where the one, and where the radius was. And you won't concede, and Rumpus knows you've got it wrong. No, that's, 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 no, that's, that's fine that you guys want to do this, but I, was, I told you explicitly it's a, it's a reference to a unit circle. I told you explicitly that what those lines were. I didn't see anything about angles. You guys thought about anything about angles. You criticizing your error, and that's dishonest because he's wrong. I just he's posted for you, Tony. Of contradictory information. He's implied with the grey line that. No, but not implied. Original picture. Well, no, you can draw it like that, Anthony, without necessarily implying where the angle is. I've drawn diagrams, and other people Hello. and books have done it. Hello. And books have done it. Right you, you would way. have drawn theta. You would to do that. You would have drawn theta. Yeah, I mean that's what the bad thing is. He hasn't put it in, so it's all up in the air. But he did tell so, you verbally. He told yeah, you verbally. Yeah, but apparently, the angle, and the internal angle would be theta in this example, and he hasn't drawn theta, and you're using the ambiguity to protect him rather than criticise the expressed triangle he's drawn. I'm generous to people. If they say to you that they verbally not to me, said not where the was, <laughs> you're not on, generous to me. Verbally, I am. I am. I. You would not believe how generous I am. <laughs> oh, <laughs> verbally, stop it, Rob. Ver if he verbally, <laughs> if verbally I, would, I mean, I would say. <laughs> Has he gone? Generous. Oh, that's <laughs> a shame. Has, he uh, has he gone? Has he been kicked or has he gone? Uh, but just weird coincidence, I guess. That Not I just me. needed to jump in and say. Oh, you kicked him? No, I did not. <laughs> well, where is he? It is Mike. 
I'm not surprised. It's <laughs> yeah, just a weird right. coincidence <laughs> that I unmuted and he disconnected. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Oh, so maybe you, you hit him. the kick button. <laughs> I did not. Are you, were you being passive aggressive again, Emma? Kosho, nope. what are you, you going to do now know. then, Kosho? Your, I your did mate not told you were... hit. Come on. <laughs> Everybody can see that Kosho was wrong, and everybody can see that Rumpus has protected the ambiguity rather than criticised the error. Uh, Everyone can see that. Are you all going to agree that I didn't say this is in a circle? Are you all going to agree on that? I have to ask one question. No, I know. Are you guys all going to agree on that? That I didn't say this is in a in a circle? I'm going to ask a question. Oh, hold on. The answer to that question. Because Riley just asked if I was gone or something that Rumpus was gone. talking over I'm wrong. Now, I'd say that this was in reference to Unicircle. Yeah, you did, but at what point? And there you go. How was it when you said it? The cosine is a relationship to a triangle concerning the angle on a right angle triangle. That's what the cosine is, Kosho. We can, we can all see what's going on here, Kosho, and you're not man enough to admit that you fucked up. But I've got to do it when I fuck up. So why is it different for you? I do, I'll let you know. Okay, what? so I'm going to ask my question now. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna ask if you do, you'll let me know. Fuck off, you. you're a fucking cunt. No, Just admit on, that you're wrong. Tony. Hold on, Tony. Tony. On, Tony. So, Kosho, now that you understand what went on, are you catching or are you pitching? Right, so when I drew this, I said that this was like no, a no. unit. Are you going to answer my question? And then I drew the cosine, no, and then somebody said that was the radius. Cosine. So I drew the radius, and I drew this time. If I had made the triangle on the other side, the cosine and the radius would be the same value. So I drew it the other way also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Basically, Kosho would rather argue for dishonesty than admit that he's wrong. Yeah, That's what's happening. Yeah. I think the best thing is to just uh, yeah. ignore him. So Redmond see you well. later, Kosho. Kosho. The, the problem you've got, Kosho, is you've got the fucking sun at 12 o'clock. So that tells you what... I know you didn't identify the theta, but you've put the sun at 12 o'clock, and that implies, well, expressly states that the zero value is there. Otherwise, you'd have put the sun at, nine, at, at 3 o'clock and then said that that's where you meant the sun to be. And the reason I did that, Riley, was because when you didn't understand what was going on with the sun during uh, the moon, he didn't I described it to you using the he unit circle. Hold on, Doug. Hold on, guy. Hold on. Oh, I described it using the unit circle. So when I drew this, I drew the unit circle to express what I was talking about. And if you guys didn't interrupt and other people were talking, then other people wouldn't oh, be asked you to stop. Kosho, so, are you talking when you say oh. I don't understand when you say I didn't understand it, are you talking about back then six months ago or are you talking about today? Well, the reason why I brought it up to you, and then the reason why I brought up the cosine. The question. Answer Answer the question. Riley, I am. I am answering the no, question, Riley. Answering the question. And the reason why I brought it up to you at the time and was in reference to you in a circle. That's the reason why I drew it this way. Was so it was in reference to the way I described it to you. So that's why I'm bringing so it up. Answer right. the question directly. Are you in, are you saying that when I didn't understand it, are you referring to back then or are you referring to today? Referring to the reason it uh, came up uh, back then. I don't know if you understand it now. I have no idea. Well, we didn't understand it now, and that's why you we asked you to go and draw the triangle. And then Kosho, you came the new moon phase. Drawn. The only honest thing you've ever said, Kosho, was in this tonight is, I have no idea. Thank you for that, admit. Okay. No, yeah, so the reason I drew the unit circle was because that's the way I expressed it to you. And then when I, drawn, when I showed so it, it to you again, I told that, you that there was a reference to a unit circle. So, so why have you put the, there's why nothing have you put confusing about it. Kosho, why have you put the sun at 12 o'clock if you were drawn in the unit circle? Wouldn't exactly. you have drawn the sun at 3 o'clock? I described it to you, Riley. When I told you originally, when you, I was explaining to you that day, I was telling you, um, and I even had to show then. you the unit circles. Not what, then. I showed you, you think about it. Riley, hold on, man. Hold on, Riley. I told you as this moon goes around in an orbit, um, and it's at the top, and it's going um, from that distance, the cosine is changing much greater. You know, cosine, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? So I had to show you unit circles. We're not on about them. We're not on about them. I know, but that's the reason why I drew it, because I'm drawing it the way I was expressing it to you. Yeah, but if that's... Go get Nathan right now. Why did you put the sun at 12 o'clock? just told you, Riley. I just told you. When I was explaining to you, I was explaining to you as if there was a unit circle. I said, imagine like a unit circle whenever there's a... You go from right to left at the top. It's different from when you go from the up and down on the side. And then, then, then the sign is changing at a great rate.
but the cosine is changing at a great rate. That. I understand that. That's not answering the question. I asked you, if you're using 3 o'clock as your zero, why is the sun at 12 o'clock? I, Riley, when I explain it to you, I explained it in reference to a unit circle. That's why I drew yeah. it that way. But in reference to a unit circle. By putting the sun there, we're all thinking that you're referencing the zero at 12 o'clock. Do but you not see that? If I, if I said in reference to a unit circle, you shouldn't have thought that. But here's the point, well, Riley. You, it doesn't matter. It doesn't it. matter, Riley. Okay. It doesn't matter okay. if the sign was at the top. I mean, if the, if the zero was at the top or on the side. Yeah, yeah, if it was at the top, then the sign true. would be changing. And that would be, the same, it'd be yeah. the same answer, but with the sign. No, I that would only know. be true if you drew your express triangle the opposite way round. You've drawn it so that the, 12, the zero value is at 12. Yeah, I just said that. I just said if I would have done that, then I would say the sign was changing at a greater rate. Yeah, but you did draw it like that. That's what we're saying. You've drawn the triangle as though the unit value of zero is at 12. Yeah, but why would I have done that when I was expressing a unit circle? And I just told you, every time I've drawn a unit circle, I draw it with zeros on the right side. But you haven't drawn your triangle the opposite way around, inverted, have you? Yeah, I didn't start out drawing a triangle. The only reason I drew those other lines was to describe to you where the radius was and where the sign was. Uh, no, I don't accept that. I think that you've just made a mistake and you won't you won't admit it or concede. Okay, how would you have drawn if somebody drew that that cosine and then say, okay, well now draw the sign. What's the sign of that of that cosine? You could you have, have tried to, to draw it straight all, down from where that point is, or you can all, draw it along the line that already exists. First of all, you'd have to put a right angle in so that we know where you're referencing, right? But without the right angle, and if we just assume that there's a right angle, you haven't got the other side in that you're going to be able to put in because you're relying on an implied external angle that isn't drawn. You're ignoring the expressed angle, the internal angle that you have drawn. That's totally dishonest. Riley, if I've somebody asks you to draw even the cosine, I drew the cosine at the top because that's where there was already a line. If I would have drawn it at the bottom, I wouldn't have known when to stop. Okay? It's much easier to draw it the way I drew it. I wasn't drawing a triangle. I was showing you where the sine, the cosine, and the one were. Yeah, but you haven't put enough information originally in for us to be able to understand what point you're making because you haven't drawn it properly. That's why we asked you to go and draw and put more information in. And then when you came back, it became obvious what you were You didn't ask me to go and draw more information. You said that you didn't. You, you, said that, you, said that, you said that's not the cosine is what you said. And somebody has said it was radius, and I got frustrated that somebody said that, so I drew, those, I drew the radius. We asked you to draw the triangle for us. Put your triangle in. That was what we asked you to do, and you did that. And when you come back with your triangle, we said, hang on a sec, you've got them the wrong way around. And you said, no, no, no. That's not no. what happened, Riley. You guys were telling me that that was the sign. That's why I drew that. And somebody said it was the radius. Yeah, but for you to be correct. I went back and through it. Nobody asked me to go back and draw more stuff. Listen, when we first suggested it, it was the wrong way around, you should have referenced my dick angle. You should have said then, I'm referring to that angle there, that dick angle. That's what you should have said, but you didn't say that, did you? You, you were didn't draw that to begin with. That came way later. Yeah, that's because you've drawn the wrong diagram in the first place, the wrong triangle. You should have drew the Riley, other here, triangle. Here's the point, Riley. I told you it was a unit circle, and Rumpus even told you that the people draw unit circles with the zero at the right side. I've always drawn it that way. I expressed it as a unit so circle you, all right, both all every right. conversation so I've had with you. So you can keep saying something's okay. wrong. So you say, you say you drew it as a unit circle, but you've drawn the sun as though it's the zero point. That is totally misleading. And it, we're looking at the diagram and trying to work out what you've done. And if you did say it, we're not listening. We're looking at what you've drawn and we're trying to interpret it. And when we ask you to go away and put more lines in it so we could draw a triangle and you come back and you put the ones that you did in, then we're left with the only conclusion that you can make based on what you've drawn, that the zero value is the sun at 12 o'clock because you've put the angle in, you've expressly drawn the triangle. If I would have done this differently, if I was going to do this uh, over, I would have put the sun to the right side as well. Okay. And that yeah, way, that, that, it wouldn't have any problem, confusion. Though, isn't it? I told you, I told you it was a unit angle, circle. Though, is it? It's not, the sun's uh, not I told you it was a unit circle. It? Doesn't matter. I told you it was a unit circle, Riley. Well, do right. you know what? I if told you it was unit circle. That's time where you said it, right? That's it. No, no, that's not it. When So basically, if you draw... If you draw one, two, three, and then you actually reference the one, two, three by words as say seven, eight, and nine, and then you talk about them as seven, eight, nine, but on screen we're seeing one, two, and three, but you're referencing them as also that basically you can say whatever you want then, because it doesn't matter what you've drawn on screen because the picture doesn't represent the words. What are you talking about, Riley? I told you it was like a unit circle. That's all you have to. Yeah. That's all you have to know. 
If I would have told you the sun was a different point or I told you the zero was a different point, I would have expressed it as a sign. I would have said the so sign changes. Everybody can see rate. what you've done. If you don't, if you won't back down, Kosho, I'm never going to talk to you again. I don't know what to back I down to. to. I just told you how I would do it differently. If I were to do it over, I would do. I would do it differently so that you couldn't have that argument. I would have put the sun on the right side. That's but all. Why I did done. you put the sun at the top? The sun is at the zero point. I put it at the ninety degree point because that's, sun just, that's the way that I draw unit circles. To the cosine of a triangle. Why? Why does the sun's position matter? Because it gives you the impression that that's the zero value. Oh, the only thing that matters is where the angle is, right? Yeah, but he hasn't put an angle in. A cosine, right? At that time, though, he hadn't put the angle in. So when he did put the angle in, when he did put the angle in, because he created the express triangle, how are we meant to know that he's referring to the external implied triangle that doesn't actually exist that he didn't he's, draw? He's not, Tony. He just doesn't know what he's talking about. Right, Kosho? Yeah, dude, I took calculus three, okay? I've drawn many unit circles. Every time I've drawn a unit circle, I've drawn it with the zero at the right side. Right, 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 right. So trigonometry exists in all of calculus, okay? So, yeah, right, right, right. right. So when I draw this and I explain it to you, when I explain this to you, then I'm saying it the way I explain it to you. I'm saying it as a unit circle because I explain it as a unit circle, okay? Listen, dickhead, listen. If you took calculus three, they would have told you to identify with theta so that everyone knows what you're referring to. Why did you not do it? You made a mistake. Because okay. I'm not fucking doing this for money, dude. I'm doing this to explain to a retard what I explained to him a year and a half ago. Okay? I wasn't to trying to explain to a retard, retard dude. dude. You're doing this That's to explain to a retard. Yet yeah, you've got... Yeah, you you've got a the retard, for... yes. <sighs> Fuck off, Kosho. I'm never, ever going to talk to you again for this reason. So remember this reason because you're a liar. You're a dishonest fraud. And you will rather push fraud than admit that you've made a mistake. You're a cunt. It's pretty bad, Kosho. Pretty bad. Whew. Has he gone? Yeah. He's gone. Everyone can see what's happened there, can't we? Mm. Yeah. It's... He fucked up. The and only thing that matters, white knighted for right, it. Is in trigonometry yeah. is the it's the relationship of the angle of a triangle. Now I haven't got a clue oh. what he was talking about zero point four. It's got nothing to do with trigonometry, has it? Well, all all he's doing by identifying where he claims the zero point is is he's it's allowing him to say that the end, external angle is the one that he was actually referencing. But he drew the express triangle, so that really negates it, it negates chat, the argument. What? If you looked inside chat, I'll put it. Uh, put it no, I've got live stream now. on. Right? See that? Because he's he's gone. I put a right angle on that thing, and drew an angle. Yeah, all he had to do was identify the angle he claims he's referring to. But even then, even then, he hasn't even got the other line in to create the triangle. So well, even that, then it's dodgy see, because... See that diagram there? If he'd have just drawn that in, done that angle, put a right angle there, then that cos is the adjacent to that angle. To that... be fair, he needs, he needs to put theta in. Not, not the little curve, not the arc. He needs to expressly state theta because that's the angle that he's referring yeah, to. Yeah, but that's the but... angle though. That, that angle there is the cosine of, in relation to that angle. Is It's the adjacent. That's the cosine is the adjacent side of, of that angle. It is, but only because he's draw only because you've put the vertical line in to create that triangle so that and you've identified there, the because it's that angle. Yeah, that angle but it's because you've put more it. information into the image. You've got the right angle and the so, angle that we're using, the cosine. So, the, so the look sine of that angle is opposite. Look how difficult it was then to... He didn't admit that he was wrong, and Rumpus protected the ambiguity rather than criticised the error. Now, when you've got them doing that, right, that's not intellectually honest. What Rumpus should have done is said, look, this is wrong, this. He's incorrectly identified the angles. He is wrong. He shouldn't have he given... Did, him he did way. in the beginning. He did in the beginning. And then I think that Coach Show started DMing and everything else. And now he come back. With yeah, but a yeah, but to be fair, Rumpus did say afterwards that he didn't spot the other grey line, the vertical grey line next to the dotted grey white line. If he hadn't spotted that, that does change the, on, the dishonesty That's perception because if he didn't got a right see that, anywhere. 
No, I know, I know, I know. You're right. He hasn't got a right angle. But if Rumpus didn't see the the, the light grey line, the vertical light grey line, that changes the dishonesty element because he might not have actually been dishonest. But when he said that, I thought mm, maybe. But that's why I expressly got him to identify the three lines because if he could see the two lines vertical, then there's no way that he can protect him. But maybe he didn't see that vertical. That was something else you missed out as well. Go on. Um, what's in the middle of that supposed diagram? Earth. Right. And how many horizontals does Rumpus have on Earth? On his Earth? None. No, None. He, has, he has all of them, all the way around the outside. So when he called oh, that right, okay. line there, horizontal. Right, so he's got, an infinite, he's got an infinite amount of horizontals then. Yeah, but he, he, he did just happen to call that one that's in the horizontal position, coming out horizontal, so he can measure angles from it. He called that one. He's quite happy to call that horizontal and the other one vertical. Um, when... was, was Kosho kicked? Emma, did you kick him? Might have been for his own good. I hope, I hope he was kicked because he deserved to be kicked. Yeah. Uh, I may have a confession to make. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so aggressive. He needed to be kicked because no. no. But I didn't lie either because I didn't kick him and I didn't ban him. I just disconnected him from the call. <laughs> because you knew uh, he was wrong. But, but, um, but what, that demonstrates, what that demonstrates is that they'll never concede any points. Yep. Mm -hmm. Rumpus and other people will protect any any angle of wiggle room at all. They'll protect that wiggle room because he didn't put theta in and, it, and there was a little tiny bit of slither of, of ambiguity. He'll defend that rather than criticise the 99% of the error that he did make, that he won't concede. It's like, that's when, you, when you're when you dealing with people that, that are like that, you're never going to get them to concede anything, ever, because they'll protect everything at all costs. The cunts. Did, did you notice when he said that he isn't wrong, and I asked Rumpus, well, is he right? There was that long, pregnant <laughs> pause. Yeah. The look <laughs> Arwen. Arwen doesn't understand the pregnant pause. But they're beautiful. No. no, they are. They are. Well, boys, I tell you what, boys and girl, I tell you what, it's been a really busy day today. <laughs> no, you can't go to bed, bro. We're still recording, right? <laughs> we? Well, yeah, we need to this after bit just to just to point out exactly what went on there, right? Mm. They're both. What? dishonest and covering for each other and it, yeah, it doesn't really matter what we were to say then they would have just carried on saying that we're stupid and we don't know yeah, yeah. so if what Rumpus ever so Rumpus ever says that to you <laughs> what would be interesting is if we did go back in time to see the timing of when he I do remember him saying at some point that the, um, the, the, the sentence that he said he did say that at some point but it's whether or not it was before or after he realised he'd made a mistake. And you can tell by how he's talking. So like when we replay it and listen back, he did say it at some point. Was it early on before it was an issue? Or was it when he started to realise it was becoming an issue? And it's all to do with the timing. Because he might have been covering for himself by putting it, slipping it in when he realised that we were check questioning something. He's like, thought, oh shit, maybe I've got this wrong here. No, even, even, no even I could see what he'd done wrong yeah but it, yeah but he might have realized and corrected his error and then used it and said i did say that and he might have said it but it was too late because he didn't say it at the start because i bet I he didn't say it at the start mm -mm. he until did say Bumpers it at some point came, until oh, wait, Rumpus wait, came in he had it all wrong i don't think he even knew it was a, a, a had a relationship to do with triangles he just had cos wrote on a line and thought he'd be able yeah, but, to just wave that in here, saying... Yeah, but the only way that that could work, though, is if he, he couldn't... That What he said can't be true, because he didn't have the diagonal line in the first place to give you the angle at the bottom that he claims the dick angle. That dick angle couldn't have existed because he didn't have the diagonal line in, so he can't have been telling the truth. He didn't know it was a triangle. He didn't know cause had a relationship to a triangle. I, I don't think... I don't yeah, think but, he still does. I yeah, but do you guys, guys understand now, it, like, looking at trigonometry and working out what the fuck he just that? Do you happened? guys do you guys understand what I'm what I'm referring to when I say the internal angle and the external dick angle that Rumpus wants to rely on that was implied that wasn't even drawn? Yeah, yeah. 
Be- because that that can't have been true because he didn't even draw the diagonal. It's 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 the same as the angle I just he drew an extra triangle down at the bottom, whereas all he had to do was use the angle up at the top because that's the relationship of the angles, right? The adjacent angles are the the there like that's that's how the Z works, right? Yeah, but remember, though, he didn't have the diagonal in the first place. No, I know. He didn't have a triangle. He just had a straight line yeah. that he'd labelled cos for some reason. This Mad. Again, no, this just demonstrates Kosho, how fucking dishonest Kosho they are. Got it, yeah, Kosho got it wrong. And then Rumpus stepped in and I tried to jump it because I knew exactly what he was going to do. That's why I was like, and I didn't quite get to make my point. But yeah, I knew what he was doing. He was flipping it around. But that's yeah. not that's not how he started off. He he we, was we wrong. We gotta turn your mic up. We gotta turn your mic up. Your <laughs> why? Your I've admin. Got a, I've got a set to one hundred and fifty. Really? Why that quiet? Yeah. yeah, you are quite quiet. Hang on, let me look at my output. Mighty Mouse. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. <laughs> oh, <fuck off. laughs> <laughs> what, what, what's the PO address? I'm gonna get you a, a Yeti. I do not want a Yeti. You are you gonna get a Yeti? Nope. Regardless of what you want. You yeah, well, then we'll end up with a, a, a Kyrgios. Oh shit, he's here. Shh, shh. <laughs> uh, no, we won't, because I won't also have stupid sound settings like you have complicated settings. Yeah, you will. Oh, no. Oh, not me. Oh, no, 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 Tony. <laughs> He's off mute. <laughs> He's back on mute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go so, on, Kyrgios. You tell him what. That, that, si- that was a silent protest. Did yeah. you see it? It was very so, subtle. <laughs> hello. W- where's your uh, your PO box so I can sing you, Eddie? I don't you know, have a PO box. It's in England. Right, so Put it in DMs. A- anybody no. want any finishing? Sort yes, of, woman. Anybody no. want to have a go at like what their impression of what just happened? If anybody is uh No, I, I just think it was classic ball of white lighting. Nobody would admit they're wrong. Everybody rushes to um cover up everybody else's mistakes. <laughs> it's just classic baller. Classic. That that that's why I was asking them. Who who was pitching and who was catching? <laughs> yeah. That was another pregnant pause, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> did, did did so do you reckon Tony, when you called him Rumpus for a clean up do you reckon he was on the like? Do you reckon that was a good move or a bad move, or like did well, that it was help a, us it, expose him? It, right. If you understood what had gone wrong from from our perspective against Kosho, it was a brilliant move because it shows that Rumpus was covering for Kosho with the ambiguity rather than criticise the mistake. But if you don't know what was going on and you're ignorant to triangles or trigonometry, all the things that I get criticised for. Then you'll just re- you'll think that Rumpus came in and just obfuscated, and he did, but you'll not realise that he's covering for Kosho's ambiguity by giving him a little bit of wiggle room. You'll not see that Rumpus is being deceitful. So it depends on whether you're up with the triangles or not. If you're not up with the triangles, then you're not going to realise what's happened. If you understood what was going on, then you can see that Rumpus is being a dishonest little bastard. Nicely summed up. <laughs> 